Snobler. Hey, Smuggy. I'm firing him if I got him. How you doing, Smug? Hope you're doing well. I was just wondering about you earlier if you were moved again. We've been wondering about you. Yeah. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're finding a, a new groove. Happy Monday, everybody. Thanks for coming in. We, we just, just woke, woke up, up from a nap. <laughs> Sad was snoring a little bit. I was snoring a little bit. What? As I drifted off to sleep. I drifted off to sleep to the sweet sounds of... He has a teeny sad, little snore, though. Sad snoring it's to not, here. It's not really a very uh, invasive snore. It's not. That's good. I'm glad to hear it. Cheers, everybody. Happy Cheers. coffee time. Happy 420. Four, I put four shots in mine, too. Look at my my funky <sighs> latte art. Funky art. I had I too much foam. Mmm. Worth sticking it out, probably. Hopefully. That would suck to abandon anything. But sometimes... Probably be nice to see the spring in the tundra, too. Tundra spring? Huh? <laughs> spring is springing around here. We got all kinds of wildflowers. It's so fun to actually remember them from last year. Dang it. Dang it. Oh. But, you know... Uh, we were talking about uh, a while ago that it's fun. You know, people worry about getting their hopes up, getting people's hopes up, but it feels good to get your hopes up, whether it pans out or not. You know, it's like that feeling of being hopeful and kind of nervous about something is a really cool feeling. And to, I think it's good to feel that and then not judge just because it doesn't pan out. It's still a fun, good feeling, you know? Yeah, it's always exciting. Oh. Thanks. Heck yeah. Stuport. Hi, Stuport. That's awesome. Shout out to the totality. Totality oh, is gnarly. O-H-I-O. Uh, I'm glad the new New Madrid fault line's still holding on over there. You guys are all safe and sound. There's no crazy events. Good. Happy. Happy day. Happy day. Shout out. Big ups to the candle, the TCFC. Yeah, yeah. That's cool, Smug. Hopefully you get a lot more hopefuls. Yeah. I feel... Super lady. I feel like they come in group. Super lady. Super lady. Thanks for coming in, super lady. Mm -hmm. I feel like they start building on each other. Those hopeful moments. Until one pans out. Like, it'll just start. And then you'll have to, like, pick from the hopeful moments. You'll be like, oh, do I want this one or this really cool thing? That's how I feel. It happens. I think that's going to happen. Yeah, we were we stayed up really late last night, so we were sleeping. Uh, we both woke up at like eight thirty or something, and uh, but we're definitely going back to sleep. And we were like, we were like, we might just sleep through the through the eclopolips. Eclopolips. <laughs> we missed it all. We slept right through it. Man, no, hell's, we woke if up. this is hell, that's pretty cool. I'm okay with it. Glenda R. Hey, Glenda R. Shout out, Glenda R. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're doing so good. We had a great week. We got the snowboards waxed. Okay, want to hear something? Here's a little spoiler alert for a video coming up in a week or so, roughly. You need the right wax for the right temperature snow. Very important. If you don't have the right wax for the right temperature snow, you could hurt yourself. You really stick. It's like Velcro. I hurt myself a little. He fell three times. I think that's more than he's fallen all season other than that. Ate crap. I yeah. ate the crap, guys. Hey, Donald. Donald. Good to see you. Great to see you. Um, so now we got the right temperature wax on the right temperature. Well, it was supposed to be warm Still tomorrow. Still the right temperature. But our wax is 33 to 58, and it's supposed to be 32, 32. tomorrow, so it sh it'll be fine. I thought the wax said 32. 
Maybe it does. I think it says 32. It says 32, guys. Yeah. Uh, always remember, like and subscribe. Don't forget to like and because every 10 likes, I spin the wheel. Spinning the wheel. Wax on. Wax on. Yep. But who? I had so, just waxed. The, I gave him a nice fresh wax. I was like, yeah, we're good to go. And the cold weather wax is black, and the bottom of my snowboard is white, and you could literally see where it was kind of balling up yeah, it at was the like, edge. Yeah, like melting off and balling up, and it made you feel like you were like... Yeah. Like you are riding, you were still moving down, but like... It was like there was a stutter step. So to we it. used to Yankee only. Yankee Kyle! Hey, Yankee balls Kyle! Balls on the edge! <laughs> Greasy <laughs> balls on the edge! Yeah. If you know what I mean! Uh, we used to just wax our boards randomly, like maybe a couple times a year. So spring riding was one of the best because, I mean, it's not bad if you don't have wax, really, apparently. Yes, yes. We will be able. We learned. Oh, yeah, I we learned. know the difference now. For sure. I have, I have a, I carry a screwdriver in case I ever need to fix Ooh, anybody's. You show them your bruise. I don't want to show them my bruise. That's so ugly. Show them. It's bad. I don't want to show them. I don't know. I'd have to it's show them. Uh, he's like, he's making sure he's, don't look, don't look at anything other than the bruise. It's such a deep bruise. Look at how it's shaped just like his, you should show him the screw. The screwdriver is a stubby screwdriver. And the frick, it even has the point. He could have been stabbed in the liver. I almost took the screwdriver right to the old guts. Never too old to learn, never too young to teach. That is so true. And I just feel like so many people think that they can't learn from somebody who's younger. And I am of the opinion that I can learn more from someone who's younger. I mean, there's, there's new stuff going on all the time. The kids know what's up. Hey, hey, Kenny. We moking them. Happy moking. Eclipse Day. Thanks for the Eclipse view from the Kenny point of view, the, the sunfish for fish point of view. Everybody check out sunfish. Sub up. Go visit him. Stuport saying hi to Chloe. What you doing back there, girl? You want a little <laughs> dee 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 Wait. Uh, dee 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 She did not want that. She didn't want it. But she says hello, Stuport. <laughs> I'm chugging these qua this quad mm. shot JoJo made me, and I'm just like... <laughs> Dutchman. Just in time for sad strip tease. That was hilarious. <laughs> Do you like how I isolated it? <laughs> I'm very modest. He is. He. It's true. He is very modest. <laughs> Sad just smoked no a little, one a wants little to, half No one doobie. wants to see that. I Dang, did. that's awesome, Yankee Kyle. I did. Yankee Kyle, 2K? What the? Yes. Get on Yankee Kyle's bus. He's almost a 2K. We want to push him over that edge. Coffee and pop. We want to get him to 2K. He uh, helps support tons of channels. Uh, does some true crime. You know, he does some YouTube talking. He does he does a little bit of everything over there at the Yankee Kyle channel. Check him out. Check out Super Lady too. And some Fish for Fish. And Dut and Donald W P W A Blue Songs. Did you guys know? That when we get to a thousand subs, we're gonna do a twenty-four hour stream. You wanna have a little sip? It's so it good. Looks so good. It's sweet Glenda and delicious. R. And when we get to five thousand subs, we're gonna climb a mountain all the way to the top of guys, the mountain. Do you guys even know about that? Does everybody here know about our Mount Adams goal? Do you guys know? We won't be able to stream it, but we're gonna take you guys. We're gonna document it as zoot. best as we can. Zoot, zoot, and I'm zoot. There might be. I mean, once we get to the top. I'm zooted. Somewhere along the way, we might be able to stream a little bit. The second highest peak in Washington, folks. It is 12,276 feet. 12,000. 12,000. What did I say? 12,270. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Yep. It's true, Surf Doc. We were talking about, uh, well, the next on the go stream, we're going to do vertical. We're going to do it for And we want to do... Yeah, well, we want to do a hike or something where we can see Mount Adams along the way so that we can tell people we're going to climb that mountain when we get to 5K along the way while we're streaming. 
So that's definitely in the agenda. We were a little bit concerned about the rapture. So we figured we would stay home today. <laughs> no, it's like cloudy. JoJo seriously cool. thought I was. <laughs> well, he wouldn't watch the eclipse with me because he was go scared it might hurt his... I didn't go at the eclipse because I'm not down for the partial eclipse. His edge balls. Totality's cool. It was really cool to watch. A little, little lump. I got, I got snowboards to wax, surf dog, you know. You know. Hey, gotta William. Get, gotta get those surf dogs, I mean those surf, I mean those snowboards waxed. Better wax, wax they them our boots. wax themselves. Before the climb. <laughs> Man, it would be cool to bring a snowboard and snowboard down. Oh man, if we're, if we're able to, I'd totally be down. You know what's funny, surf dog, is that Sad hates it too. <laughs> The vertical. He's always been like, I do, I do, will never go live vertical. <laughs> I don't think he really said that. I, but. I might have. I really yeah. might have. I I don't like how it shows such little bit of chat to the chatters, and I find it hard for people to know how to like the stream. If you guys don't know how to like a vertical stream on a mobile phone, you hold your finger above the chat, and it'll bring up the menu with the like dislike. Just a little heads up. Hey, Tim Windsor. It didn't look good on TV, I bet, Smuggler. That was, JoJo kept saying, it's great for the view of the area, and I'm like, no. The landscape's good for the view. I mean, they're both are. If you can get a big, dynamic background far away. Did you see his next thing? Looked great on the phone, though. Oh. Which is what I was seeing it on, and I thought it looked great. I really liked that. I thought it was dynamic and cool to be able to see, because usually when you're, we're, you're looking at us, you can't see that beautiful background. Tim Windsor, great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Hope you had a great weekend. Didn't, um, doesn't look good on. Yeah, yeah, Smug. I think we got how much? A lot. <laughs> Nine, yeah, we usually get like 200 Three. to 400 views yeah. on a live lately, and we got 1,900 views on that got live. Got like uh, what, 11 subs or something? Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, a nice chunk of subs. So we figure if we're telling people five thousand subs, we're gonna climb that mountain, you know, then that might that might get more Can people subbing as they come in, you know. So we're gonna definitely do that. Can we climb that Thanks mountain? Thanks for spending a little bit of your time with us, the Stewport. We love you. You're Can awesome. Drive mountain, safe. Stuport. Moo. Moo. RV flies Shout is out. here. Shout out. RV flies. Moo. Um. Can I climb that mountain? Ten uh, likes. Ten likes. Ten likes. Ten, ten likes. likes. Ten likes. You know what that means. You know what that's just about to mean. Oh, uh, you know what that's about to mean. Oh, don't look at this. I'm showing you my, oh my goodness. I'm about to leak my passwords. Woo-wee, that was close, boys. Hey, Not Shoddy. Really. Shoddy in the house. Hey, Zed. Zed's in the house. Good to Shout see ya. Zed. Shout out, Zoddy. Hugs back Zoddy. to ya. Zed had a great uh, video the other day, uh, Christmas in April. Um, you should check it out. It's pretty amazing. Uh, I didn't see it. He, uh, I won't spoil it for it you. It seems like Christmas is in it April. It seems like it might be silly oh, by was, the look on your face. It was great. Dr. Shoddy loves Dr. back in the house. Dr. Shoddy, nice. I'm telling you. Check out Shoddy. Check out Shoddy. I got a fever <laughs> okay. for some Shoddy content. <laughs> okay, I can do this. I bet RV flies. Yeah, we we went to Totality oh. in 2017 when it was nearby us, and it was it would typically have been an, like an hour and a half drive, and it took us all. For, I mean, we barely. I mean, an, we made it just in time, and we left super early because we knew it could be crazy, and yeah. It was as the kids. We were say, like, "All right, we're pulling over here, oof. starting." Yeah. Oof. <gasps> Did we confirm? Can we confirm? Let's get yes. a confirmation. We got confirmation. I confirmed. You confirmed. Oh, 16. Dang, we're almost to yeah. back to back wheel spins. Watch out, folks. Watch out. <laughs> you know what time it is. Thanks, daughter, Dr. Shoddy. Spin the wheel. Spin, spin the, the wheel. wheel. Spin the wheel. No whammy. Gummy. <laughs> dab. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, maybe I'll make a special dab today. 
Maybe I'll dab some drop. Maybe I'll dab some Keith. How about that? What have you if, tried that before? What if we dab some Keith? I think I have. Let's try it again. Cosmic B. Cosmic no. B. Who said that? I guess. Who said that? You'll never guess. Who said that? So we're making steak Diane tonight. It's been so long since we've had steak and there was asparagus Shall at I? the store and asparagus always makes me crave steak. Asparagus makes me pee funny. Oh, never, never, we never got any five star full melt. No, it's, I and mean, this stuff. It's a myth. It's, it's like dry land and water world. No. The new, the new hype is that patella. Everybody all about. Mm, it would be mm -hmm. good with capers greasy. No, it's just um, brandy. It's a mushroom sauce with brandy, Dijon, and Worcestershire. I'm going to press some of this. Like a gravy, like a creamy gravy. There's going to be some leftover. But it's going to be good. It'll be dabbable. I'm excited for steak. I Fat and Jojo. I know. I heard the billions were won here. Oh, oh we didn't even get a ticket. We don't even ever do that. We did, we it, did once, it once for once stream. in our life. We did it for stream. That looks one time. better than I thought it would because I mean I, I'm not very good about keeping particles out of it. I'm going to it's weed, now give me my point. Wrong, Greasy, it's Keith. Ah, uh, close. No point for you. <laughs> oh, Greasy. <laughs> greasy, hope you're doing great. Good to see you. Yep, we did, I was thinking about your how when we do the classic spin the wheel, that's for you, Greasy. Yep, I was thinking that same thing just then. Yeah, it's so cool, I just love the community here and all the times that different people go through through our minds because of little inside jokes we have with each other and stuff that's happened on the stream it's so great big time you guys make some extra special moments let's see i might need to apply some heat or i might be able to do it with my fingers let's see if i can do it with my fingers you're making it into a rosin yeah, well, yeah, kind of. You could heat up the mallet, smash it. Smash it? I'm just going to do it with my fingers. And actually make carazin. We need a, we, what we need is a, wow. What we need is a, what do you call those? A hair straightener? A hair straightener. Yeah, I thought of it. I said, what do you call it? And then I thought of it. Man, this coffee's good. I did four shots. Oh, Look no. out, What'd everybody. You, you did that? I just woke up from a nap, and I was feeling like I needed a little pick-me-up still. Okay. This is going to leave some residue in the nail, but I think it should I think it should dab. Will it dab? The, on this edition of Will It Dab, everybody uh, put your votes in chat of whether you think it'll dab. Will it dab? Yeah, it well if we if we did rosin with this stuff it would be cured it would be a resin. Yep, this would be a well no, a cured rosin. A, yeah, cured rosin. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, this edition of Will It Dab. Shots, we shots, shots. It's so good. It's like the perfect thing just what I needed. I should I should, <laughs> I should look at it. Next time on Will It Dab, Rat Turds versus Hamster Turds. Oh, ew. <laughs> Let's see. It would all depend on what they had eaten. If you fed them a bunch of weed, you'd probably be all right. It looks the same, just in a patty. Yeah, it does. It looks similar to the background plate. So shiny. I like that. Will it dab? That's a good idea. That's a good idea for a show right there, Smug. On this episode of Will It Dab, we have Refrigerator Keef. Are you going to do that whole thing? I'm going to do this whole giant thing. Watch. 
Watch out, everybody. Going in hot. This is a corn off the bottom of my foot. Will it dab? Will it bong? Eggs for bong water. Oh, okay. Going in. Yuck. Yuck. Who said you get some of it? Oh, the eggs. <laughs> this man is truly mad. <laughs> it's true. Oh, there are definitely things happening. That is a lot of stuff. You're going to have to take more than one hit off of that, I think. Unless it's not going to... Because there's going to be stuff left. Egg bong. Oh, man. Oh, I don't man. know if I do. Is it good? It smells really good. I got a jar of keef like oh, this man. big out of my out of my tray the other day. Like a 16 ounce jar of keef. You can have lots of keef dabs in your life. Oh man. Ugh. I could really, I, what it would be better even just to separate it and have different strength. Cause that's like. It definitely left some goop. Who some knows how many strains. Stuff. Oh yeah, you're gonna need two. Oh man, the review on that is it was freaking delicious. That's awesome. You're going to start doing that, aren't you? Mm, maybe more often. It uh, really does smell so good. And especially if we made rosin out of it, it'd be real good. I feel like I might need to get it alcohol, pa paper towel it a little bit. Oh, will it dab? Will it ever? Better than rat turds, I'd imagine. Oh, man. Like 10 steps above rat turds. Mmm. Man, Kathy H's picture of the eclipse was pretty cool. Mine was just a teeny little, and it got so cloudy that you could barely see it. You mean the one that Stahls took that you claim? Oh, yeah. That was, I stole Stahls' picture. I just. But I did the classic where I posted it first, so it's my picture. Yeah. Shout out Kathy H. Installs. Shout out Trisha for sharing her eclipse experience with everybody. Ooh. You know, it was cloudy, it but it was dab. really. <laughs> but it was really awesome because you could still see the sun. You couldn't. You could see it through the eclipse glasses. It was pretty awesome. I got. I mean, I got a pretty good picture of it for... Where did it go? For through glasses, through the clouds. Oh. Pretty cool. But that wasn't, it got too cloudy. That wasn't the full on. That wasn't maximum. It was close to what the maximum we got. Mm. But it got too cloudy to take pictures towards the end. Oh, if you want an egg bone, mm. gluggle. Can we glug a little? Oh, it would be so gluggy. Did they scramble them or just put the egg right in there? Did they just put the egg in water or was it all egg? Back by popular demand, will it bomb? We like this guy. Will it bong? Ah, his, his shirt. Oh, a raw egg? Oh, this is yeah. probably not safe for avian flu. Oh, whoa, what kind of things you got there? He's That's a thing to hold a hemp wick. That's cool. Uh, we do not endorse raw bong water, uh, raw egg bong water. That could be not good breathing through that. Oh, it didn't look like it tasted good. He's like, oh. Uh, oh, is he going to yeah. throw up? Oh. <laughs> why, Smug, why? <laughs> oh, good one. I was oh. thinking it would be cool to watch he the took one from for the, the team. beach. Yeah. He took one for the team. Holy macaroni. But it's like always cloudy at the beach. Holy. Yeah. OMG. Holy macaroni. 
<laughs> Looks like he's got at least four eggs in there. Oh no. That'll give you something. I wonder. Maybe not. <laughs> if the if any bacterial could uh, vaporize out of there. Ugh, I can't believe it's gonna make him throw up. Does he do it again? Is the question. Oh, oops. You, I would not. Oh, what are you doing? You'd have to pay me a lot to try that. I'd have to first research if it could <laughs> it, get bacteria. It in oh, with lungs. stale smoke. Stale smoke in there, and the old crappy. Oh. It. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're smoking through an egg. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. That's amazing. That's amazing. The, That's the funny. Donald's a professional waxer. The things people do. You wax? Who? He said he could wax our boards. He's professional. Lol. And then said, it's true. He did gravy and maple syrup, too. Mmm. I would... I, I could... Maple syrup, I would possibly... Entertain. Yeah. Gravy. Uh, I'd do it. Why yeah, not? Wouldn't, wouldn't not raw egg though. I mean, that's just a mess. In, but it would be such a mess in your bong. Ugh. Doing that Ooh. to your bong seems bad. Yeah, that ain't right. That just ain't right. That just taint right. Oh, I'm I'm excited and nervous about when we hit 5,000 subs and we climb I Mount Adams. I want to do it. Like, I'm trying to get sad to do it early and then just save the footage until we get to 5,000 subs. I'll have to be real ready before that happens. I want to do it. I don't know why you wouldn't be, why you're not ready. It's only nine miles up. Up. Like, nine miles is like just straight up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like nine miles of. I'm gonna love it. I want to do this. Dog Mountain. What are we? I'm looking so forward to hiking season. Oh man, like it's like upon us. That's like seven of the miles. <laughs> <laughs> and just sun-baked lava rock footing mm. but we're I think we were originally thinking we were gonna camp but now we're leaning towards doing it in one day and just leaving at midnight or whatever and just doing it all we went here we did a vlog about this spot I guess the good thing about camping would be that you could just hit the morning time you know and rest for the really hot part of the day We'll have to. We got some time. We got time. That's the beauty of the goal. Yeah. Unless we don't. And yeah. And then we don't. And then we don't. And then that would be beautiful too. Yeah. Exploring the Rockies. That's not the Rockies, that's Mount Adams. Oh, here's the two choices of the routes. You can. Oh. Go this way to lunch counter. Ooh, this one looks harder. Yeah. This looks... Oh, this is the way you ski down, I bet. That's the descent. So you go up this way. And then you ski down I this way. I thought I saw a guy <laughs> ski down the same way he went up. Oh, so maybe he went up that way. But he could have went up or skied down. The, and you could ski this. But it would be better if you were able to, to ski this whole thing. It looks more skiable. Hey, Rick Nielsen. Rick Nielsen's in the house. I did. Sad was waxing our snowboards because he don't care about the 25% eclipse. I don't want to see it, Rick. It was cool. I was hiding. Me and Chloe, me and Chloe watched it. I was in the garage it. waxing snowboards, happy as a I loved clam. it. It made, you know, Jojo it's like, was out there saying, it's turning me into a zombie. Yeah, it makes you feel so small. But then it also, whenever I feel small like that, I think about the things that are also way smaller, and it makes me feel big, too. You're so big and so small at the, at same, the same time. At the same time. It's almost like 
You're everything. He waxed his friend's board and he traveled more than 20 feet beyond his landing point. I don't know what that means. Holy uh, crap. That was a fresh wax. Yeah, you got there's, you waxed it up and When you do a jump, there's a point where you're supposed to land on a good pitch, you know, they they make it so that you land in a certain spot. So, if he went past, he probably landed on flat ground, which is not ideal. Or and he he just had that much extra speed. Yeah, that too. He was he was thinking he's topping out, but he was topping out extra because he had that Donald wax. It's there is I mean the more detail you put into it, the more time you let the wax soak, the more you get it scraped evenly and brushed with all the brushes, the better it can be top end. But I did kind of a fast wax this week. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. We're not gonna win any races though. It's gonna be right on the edge. But what's cool is that when you're you're at the cooler end of your wax, then we won't, I mean, we're not gonna have to wax again for the rest of the season, which will be nice. I'll wax them at the end of the season and leave, leave the wax them. on without scraping and brushing and then scrape and brush at the start of next season. Wax on. So it's kind of hard. What do you do? Do you do cold wax? Because it's probably going to be cold. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Because it'll be November. What happened? He is our favorite Scottish guitarist. You did a big time. Keith dab. Oh yeah, the Keith dab happened. I remember. I remember now. I saw it. I uh, seen it. At least, at least, no. At least we're only two likes away from another wheel spin. Two so likes away. We won't get that anytime soon. From the Cosmic <laughs> Bee. Oh no, it's only gummies. We took the Cosmic Bee. Oh off. yeah. Cosmic Bee's been boycotted. Yep. I'm afraid it'll give me foodborne illness. It wouldn't. It's been in the freezer. It might make me squirty a little bit. No, it's been in the freezer. It would just be a uh, freezer burnt. Things in the freezer don't develop foodborne illness. Unless it's really hardcore foodborne illness. No! It can be frozen. No. Well, it develops over time. It's like a tundra variant. You gotta watch out for the tundra variant. What, Donald? What? He landed in a hole with a mother and family of young bears and they did not attack. True. What? <laughs> this is the wildest story I've ever heard. I feel like you need to write a song about this, Donald. It's a good idea. Rob Q. Hey, Rob Q. We're it's, free birding around. We, uh, we're, we're, we're out here trend setting, you know. I don't know what the trend is. We we ran into a person and they shouted people out on our stream. That was a first. I was excited about that. Wait, what happened? At the disc golf course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember the disc golf company, but shout them out. They're D cool. Dutchman waxed, uh, waxed his water skis with so much earwax, he set the record skiing on the Erie Canal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Chloe loves licking earwax. It's one of her favorite things for a little snack. Why are you ratting her out? Why you gotta do her she like that? She used to lick so deep in Remy's ear she would get to her brain. Why you gotta do her like that? Poor girl. Where is she? Oh, she's right back there. Poor You've girl. done it? Donald's done it? A song about it? No, not spill my finger. Oh. Are you trying to lick my earwax? I no, I, I was, was gonna have you pick my nose. poor little girl that you're outing, that you're shaming on the internet for eating earwax. It's not shameful. You're the one judging it. I didn't judge it. I'm just saying she likes it. You've done it. Watch my channel. We we will have to. What's the video called, Donald? I'm gonna have to. Um, oh, that would be awesome, Rick. I'm gonna have to bookmark it. Do 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 do. Well, why? Where are you? Why don't you come up? There's no P. D W P A A. Uh, no, there is. Yeah. The P was in the wrong place. Yep. It was a misplaced P. 
still. You gotta. Where are you? At? That's weird. You I guess think I should just look here in my subscription. You'd think it would come up before just regular old DWP. It won't be that far down there. <laughs> I need to write a licking earwax song yeah. for Chloe. Don't do it. JoJo's a sleepy one. Did I mention we just woke up from a nap right before this? She stayed up all night partying on the Is couch. it just a video, Donald, or is it in one of your lives? Uh, did you do The Hole of the Moon? Oh, I love this song, Donald. I gotta, I gotta listen to this one. I, I already did. But I gotta listen to it again, apparently. I really... I didn't, I guess that maybe when I heard it, I didn't know I loved that song so much, but that song's been popping up a lot, and that song is awesome. On the ukulele, too. I look too. forward to seeing it again, knowing more. Can we see it? Glincy! Glincy! Hi, hi! Uh, I was just bookmarking it to watch it later. Okay. I mean... We could watch a little snippet of it. I love that song, Donald. Yeah, it's oh, so man. good. I love you on your ukulele. Yeah. Oh, Glenn's, he says, spin the wheel, spin Glenn the C. wheel. Glenn C., I was sorry, I was so caught up in the hole of the moon. Such a good song. Sorry. Glenn C., shout out, thanks for coming in. Spin in the wheel, spin in the wheel, spin, 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 spin in the wheel, spin in the wheel, spin in the wheel, spin, 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 spin in the wheel. I feel wired and tired at the same time. Spin, 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 spin in the wheel. I saw the whole of the moon. You do it good. I don't. That's pretty good. Ooh, nice little dance. You missed uh, Sad's little strip tease, Glenn C. <laughs> yeah, scroll back for my strip tease. He showed his. He showed his uh, screwdriver. My bruise. boo boo. My boo boo. Oh, thanks, Donald. Glenn sees in house. Donald's rocking. I can't wait to listen to that whole thing again. That song is so good. You must have introduced it into my uh, my algorithm, Donald, because I had not heard it until just recently, and it's <laughs> all over the place. Empty bong begging for eggs. <laughs> oh no 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 no! What could I do that I would do? Is there anything in the refrigerator we need to get rid no, of? No, no, no. That's <laughs> just crazy talk that we need to get rid of. No. No. I could do it through this coleslaw. That's just weird. <laughs> There's a Pomplemousse. LaCroix. Cosmic Brownie, Glenn says. <laughs> no way, Jose. We took Cosmic Brownie off of that wheel. Now it's just gummy. Okay, fine. JoJo doesn't want me wasting food. I agree. That would be bad. Don't waste food. Cold swallow me, Rose. Take it through her Cosmic Brownie. Shove it full of Cosmic <laughs> yeah. Brownie. Blend it in the blender. Ooh, a Cosmic Brownie slurry. Cosmic Brownie and coffee. Mm. It probably tastes good. That would probably be good, yeah. Certainly wouldn't make you throw up. Oh, I hope not. One would hope not. What are we smoking robot on? Robot Andy! We're smoking on some... Cheers, Robot Andy. Robot Andy! That Robot Andy pack. Cheers. We're smoking on that Robot Andy pack. What would happen if you put a gummy in a bong and then smoked weed behind it? I got the whole of... You got you mean the... We, wait, why? Like, smoked the gummy? Oh, it looks so much <laughs> like the background. That's crazy. Yeah, that's what I said. That's amazing. 
Is that the Rain Man? Yeah. The hairs on that stuff are so bright orange. Like Halloween orange. This is a new strain for Would you us. look at those? Would you look at those hairs? Robot talking about. Wait, was Robot here? Yeah. Wait, how did I? Oh, I've scrolled up somehow. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Bong hits in coffee. Put the gummy in the water. Put well, it would expand if you left it for a few hours. I know that much. I did that on accident when I was a kid with a gummy bear, and I was. Then I started doing it on purpose with everything gummy. They started selling clones. Nice. It is our second wheel spin, Glenn, and our third and Sad's third time smoking. He did a little doobie, then he did a dab of Keith. Ooh, the will it dab? You missed the first edition of Will It Dab? Hey, Foster. Foster. Will it dab? Yes, it will. Look at roasted. Yeah, this I forgot guy has to wait lung on power. I forgot to wait on you guys. I can almost chew on it. What was your thing? Oh. If ghost you, it. If you can't ghost it, don't roast it. If you can't ghost it, don't roast it. That was very much not ghosted. I did not ghost it. But I did oh, roast it. Thanks, Rob Q. Oh. He said I'm nice and calm today. I'm feeling pretty calm. We just woke up from a nap right before the stream. I've been though, sedating her. Though I did, I did put four shots I've in been, my latte. I've been sedating her. I, sneak, I like it. I sneak it in with her supplements. Yeah, Smuggy doesn't know how you do it. I, I don't know how he does it. combo of kava and kratom. He has his just powerful lungs running his family. I mean, his, his, uh, everybody in his family smoked, and still his grandparents lived to be super old. I come from a long line of smokers. That's so exciting, Glen C. Frank and Glen C are going to try to do a meetup next week in Florida. What? You're going to the Frank Zone? That would be awesome. I, don't, I only know two other souls that have been to the Frank Zone and lived to tell the tale. Shout out Trisha and Fig. Trixie's there all the time. Well, Trixie, Trixie's, Trixie's She's a part permanent of the Frank fixture zone, yeah. of the Frank Zone. For the most part. Sounds good, Glenn. Glad you're enjoying it. Robot Andy. I, uh, I caught a little bit and saw that you had some IRL interactions that were less than positive and I, I hope you get that resolved and not too much damage was done but if you guys aren't subscribed to Robot Andy he goes to amazing events with uh, amazing coverage they just are in Australia and I'm usually asleep when they're happening but Robot Andy's got some awesome uh, content going on he had some rough scallions give them uh i don't know what happened the the coverage went down after they uh absconded him or what i don't know what the word would be in real life in real life at a race at a racetrack there were some some daggone abscondage n some daggone hooligans maybe from one they say uh, Dutchman got pulled over by a popo and he said, your eyes are red, have you been drinking? And Dutchman said, your eyes look glazed, have you been eating too many donuts? I love donuts. Whoa. Yeah. What F were the bur what burnouts? Fisticuffs, Robot Andy. Oh, on Robot Andy's? You gotta... You, 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 I mean, you're, you're around lots of people. The odds of things happening go up, unfortunately. But way to, way to get out there and get the content. You're a braver man than I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not very brave at all. I'm not very brave. <laughs> 
He's always shutting down my ideas because they're too risky. JoJo wanted me to go to Haiti and introduce myself to barbecue. <laughs> no, that was his idea, but you knew he wasn't serious about it. I was talking about it, bef but yeah. I was like, you don't even go to Portland. Not nice. <laughs> well, it's true. Not nice. I do go to Portland. I just might not get out of the car necessarily. <laughs> you can't leave the car. You're just asking for. There was a shooting right where he was parked when we went over there last. It was like a month ago or so, right? Yeah. There is nothing in Portland we need except that our niece wanted to go to the mall to for the her mall. birthday. It was the nearest mall. And I was like, okay, I'll drop you off at the closest store entrance to all the places you want to go and then I'll park and pick you right up and then yesterday I get a tweet notification that there were shots fired and I look at the picture and the place taped off is like right where I was sitting waiting for him I'm like great intuition of where to park bro <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Glency, we don't even go to, we go to Portland maybe once. Judy May! A freaking year. Hi, Judy May. Judy Good May. Good to see you. Oh, Glency. Oh, Glency. Oh, Joe. I told you not to feed Glency the radioactive fruit from Hanford. But he loves it. Look how happy he is. But you know it gives him sparky farts. He's got them sparky farts. Judy May, great to see you. Take a freight train down at the station. I don't care where it goes. I feel like my mic doesn't sound as good there. <laughs> Sorry, Jamis interrupted us. Can't 
can't you see? Oh, can't you see what that woman lost she been doing to me? Can't you see? Oh, can't you see what that woman lost she been doing to me? <laughs> Hi, Lisa K. Remix. Dudorino's here too. Hey, Dudorino. <laughs> I couldn't remember the words. How's it go? To gonna climb the mountain. Oh, high mountain. Jump off. Ain't nobody Jump off. Knows. Nobody gonna know. There we go. Yeah, it was something like that. It was pretty close. Dudorino. Dudorino. We're in the crystal crave of THC. What, this one? Is it that one? Or is it this one? Is this one? That one? She don't like my eggs all runny. She thinks crossing her legs is funny. She turns down her nose at money. She gets it on like an Easter bunny. I'm her baby. She's my honey. Never gonna let her. And her legs makes me horny I think she's really hot in the morning Got a sword fight with myself this morning Gonna go get some, gotta go get some Never gonna let her down I don't like to see that sword fight <laughs> He sword fights like a big brass monkey Got more sword fights than a I know, I can't remember the other words. <laughs> All I can think about is sword fight. <laughs> he's my honey. He's my baby. And I don't mean baby because he's the best sword fighter you ever fucking saw. And I'm never gonna let him go. <laughs> in spite of ourselves, we'll end up sitting on a rainbow. Against all odds, honey, we're the big door prize. We're gonna spite our noses right off of our faces. Won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our eyes. Won't be nothing but big old hearts dancing in our eyes. In spite of ourselves. In spite of your sword fight. <laughs> Never ask me to do that one when I'm this stunned. I don't know what combination of things happened to make me this way, but I was not ready. I was not prepared. Patrick New York's in the house. Ed's in the house. Judy Mae's in the house. Really? You think that's funny? <laughs> Let's see what happens. Friend. The monkey on his back is the latest trend. 
I don't see what anyone could see in anyone else but you. Kiss you on the brain in the shadow of a train. I'll kiss you all starry eyed. My body moves from side to side. I don't know what anyone would do with anyone else but you. I don't see what anyone could see in anyone else but you. The pebbles forgive me, the trees forgive me. Why won't you please forgive me? I don't see what anyone could see in anyone else but you. Here is the church and here is the steeple. We sure are cute for two ugly people. I don't see what anyone could see. sword fight. <laughs> Haven't you heard there's no sword fighting around here? There is absolutely zero sword fighting. Patrick, New York. Lisa K. Foster. I'm too stoned for this. You did great. Ah, you You're did a perfect great. amount of stone for I'm it. I'm a perfect stoned for it. And on it I will build 
All the flowers of the mountain Will ye go, lassie, go? If my true love, she is gone I will surely find another To pick wild mountain time All around the blooming heaven Will ye go, lassie, go? Mountain time all around the bloom in heaven. Will ye go, lassie, go? Will ye go, lassie, go? Shout out Donald for that request. Everywhere I go, how do I look? Threatening. She looked like she was gonna hit me with that thing. <laughs> I'm out of here. Fine. Everywhere I I'll go, let you get yours. Some people wanna know. Do I play? Cause there's music in my soul. Does it make my heart blow? Do the melodies just flow? Or is it something that makes my spirit glow? I say no. I don't do it cause the music talks right through me. I don't do it cause the message sets me free. <laughs> I don't do it for the love. I don't do it for the mouth hugs. I do it for the money, pussy and drugs. This is a family show. What I say? What she say?
Holy, we got the warning up. Okay, good, good, good. Patrick loves my pussy and drugs. Don't we all? <laughs> I mean, that's what we do it for. It's the musical ending. In, in Sad to Peer, the musical, we're going to have to get the rights for that song. And it's going to go into the musical. And it'll be like a, a montage of JoJo rising to fame and being tempted by all the stuff, stuff, and stuff. I think you told me about that itty bitty titty song before, and I never listened to it. I'm going to do it this time. You got it bookmarked? I Well, I should do that. I just screenshotted the... Oh, that's a good way to do it. I drank four shots and smoked too much. Coffee! Coffee and weed! Thank yeah. you all for coming in and hanging I can't, out. I am I got something to say to six roaches. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is he even here? I got something to say to him when he comes. You, you, you can't do that. Uh, That's against the rules. No, it isn't. I can do whatever the frick I want. Oh, no. You hear her? She's frickin'. She's doing the frick. Bruh. You got something to say. I got something to say. That canagar was too much. I couldn't even stand up on my snowboard the next day. I was stoned AF, you guys. Stoned AF. That last short snow snowboarding video was thanks to the canagar. <clears throat> that yes. one. Yes. And then. I'm Doctor Jojo Strums. I'm happy to, happy to be your doctor, your dill hole doctor. Dr. Jojo Strums. And no. then, the gummies, the next week, plus the wax, boy, it really, it was, a, it was not my best day on the mountain. It was actually my worst day on the mountain. So. He bonked his bean. I bonked my bean. I, I like, Yeah. I, pu I put the helmet to the test, it felt like. <laughs> I'm Thanks, sure it Glenn. didn't look that bad, but. It was, though. You couldn't hear me. It was fun. I'm kind of glad he got too far ahead of me to hear me when I was getting stuck because I was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think there might, there might be some problems with the audio. Oh, know. in the next video. I am looking. Yeah, he did. He was like, fuck. What the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, I it'll be really great on the hiking videos because we don't ever get too far apart for those and it would be yeah something happened I s well it wasn't that we were thinking it was because I switched my mic to my shirt but it happened before that so I think it was just somehow became unsung when one of the one of the times that you had to turn it off and on because it was being all weird maybe or the camera yeah uh, yeah maybe it's there's a button right here too that if you hit that it mutes it. You can grab it and hit it, but who knows? It could be anything. But I didn't grab it until I switched it, but yeah. We gotta figure that out. We gotta figure it out. But anyway, <laughs> join us on Wednesday at five thirty for that secret waterfall premiere. It was a fun hike. It's brought to you in a somewhat different perspective, I would say, than our latest videos. <laughs> Anything I can do to start prepping dinner? Um, yeah, or I was thinking, well, I guess the I should get the steaks out. Yeah, you could get the, I, though I feel like they are thin, thin enough. Thin enough that, that we shouldn't get them out? Exactly. Okay. Because we want to be able to sear them really well, but they will cook too much. But... Uh, you could start some water for the smashed taters. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm too stoned. We gotta boil those. Just kidding. In a big, big old pot of water? No. Just do like eight to ten, depending on the size of the potatoes. And just like, I usually use the one with the handle, like the biggest one with the handle. Are we doing, we're doing the little, little guys, right? Uh, yeah. The ones in the net bag. Kathy H is here. Kathy H is Thanks in the house. Thanks for sharing your <coughs> your uh, eclipse photos. Those were awesome. Yeah, those were awesome. Wow. 
So I finally freaking figured out how to use this thing that lets me that lets me scroll down, Hello, that Kathy lets H. me play a song when I don't know the chords and actually have it be uh, so it doesn't go too fast or too slow. I'm so dumb that I didn't figure it out before too, but I figured it out today when I was trying to play, uh, hi Cleo. Cleo. When I was trying to play Wild World because I wanted to play it for Kathy. I didn't, I mean, I didn't learn it obviously. What kind of size? Like, I mean, I think those are kind of the, the, the small. Yeah, use the smaller. The smallest. I mean, use yeah, all the smallest ones. I okay. would say, and maybe you know, into the mediums, like ten or so, because you got to smash them, and then they got to fit in the bottom of the air fryer. So it's always, you know, not that many. Shout out, Cleo. Yeah, great to see you, Cleo. I want to sit up here. Maybe. Hope your spring's going great. Do you need something to hold it up better? Hope you and your sweet little, new little cute precious Charlie are doing great. Cute little Charlie. This thing holds it because it's kind of sticky on it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's real sticky on it. <clears throat> oh, that's nice. Dillhole tried to time lapse the eclipse. Got some okay footage, but it was kind of cloudy. You know what worked? I got some pictures I put it through the eclipse glasses. I put the eclipse glass, glasses, you could not see it at all through the clouds, but you could see it through the eclipse glasses and that worked pretty good. Oh, Greasy's getting hangry up in this piece. Oh, Greasy, yeah. We're oh, getting, that's so awesome, Cleo. We're getting a late start to it. Not really. It'll all come flying together when it's coming together, though. Now that I've lost everything to you You say you want to start something new And it's breaking my heart you're leaving Baby, I'm grieving But if you want to leave, take good care Hope you find a lot of nice things to wear But remember, a lot of nice things turn bad out there Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by just upon a smile Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world Always remember you like a child will. You know I've seen a lot of what the world can do And it's breaking my heart in two Cause I never want to see you sad, girl Don't be a bad girl But if you want to leave, take good care Hope you find a lot of nice friends out there just remember there's a lot of bad and beware Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by just upon a smile Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world I always remember you like a child Baby, I love you, but if you want to leave, take good care. Hope you made a lot of nice friends out there. Just remember there's a lot of bad and beware. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by just upon a smile. Baby, baby, it's a wild world I'll always remember you like a child girl. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by just upon a smile Baby, 
baby, it's a wild world. I'll always remember you like a child. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. I got some practicing to do on that one. Oh, my sister's calling me. Sorry, sister. You can just tell her she's on the stream. Okay. Hey, everybody. I'm in here cooking potatoes. <laughs> Sad's cooking potatoes. Let's look at him. Hello, sister. We're on stream. <laughs> hey, everybody. I'm cooking potatoes. Okay, well, Say hi to everybody. Real quick. Hi, everybody. <laughs> That's way my to, sister. Way a, yeah, way to make a good choice about how to spend your time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hang it out with us. <laughs> good one. I love it. Oh, that's awesome. Is it about tomorrow? Is Ollie still going to come? Yeah. Okay, good. It's still good, but I was just, uh, I had a question for you, but just go ahead and give me a call when you're done streaming. Okay, sounds good. Patrick and Greasy and Cleo and Lisa Kay are all saying hi to you. They really are. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> she said, hey, everybody. All right. Love you, sister. I'll give you a call later. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> yeah, she always forgets, and so does Ollie. Ollie calls me every Monday, but we go snowboarding on Tuesday, so. This is good, right? That's the one I usually use. you meant to do. How weird. It's the only one I can hear, so I guess I'll do it. Where? 
water yes I can't remember how long they boil for I want to say like 10 minutes or something once they get to a boil and bring them to a boil on high let me look this up real quick oh, no you're the you're the smashed potato expert I forget though you're the smashed potato expert I don't know if I have that. I guess I don't have that recipe saved. What a wonderful world. Indeed. It's so weird. I was trying to do uh, a v neon rose. Oh, the old neon rose. How does that start again? Neon rose. Oh, oh I remember now. You see? I just had to get that one I just one had your reminder. Way. I've had a reminder. Yeah. No problem. What a do -do -do -do. Wait, I forgot again. Oh, 15 to 25 minutes? No way. That seems like too long. Yeah. They're little. Exactly. The biggest one's going to be like 15, go maybe. 10. Yeah. I, I think 10 is fine. Is that the timer when they boil? I think I usually do 10. These are the potatoes in question, folks. These are the potatoes right here. They're in question. Yep. Uh, They're in question. These potatoes. These potatoes. Over. Neon bro. 
for Frank. Frank, 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 Frank stands and applauds. Frank, get it, Frank, a Frank, a Frank, Frank, Thanks, Frank, the Frank, the Frank, the Frank, Frank, Frank. Frank's in the house, everybody. Talking about Frank. Frank, hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great week so far. Just starting out for most of the folks in the 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 world. Happy Monday. Frank said sorry he's late. You're always right on time, Frank. It's true. Took my love and I took it down. Climb the mountain and I turn around And I saw my reflection in the snow-covered hill And a landslide brought it down Mirror in the sky What is Can the child within my heart rise above? Can I sail through the changing ocean tides? Can I handle the seasons of my life?
Well, I've been afraid of changing Cause I built my life around you Time makes you bolder Even children get older I'm getting older too changing cause I built my life around you time makes you bolder even children get older I'm getting older too took my love and I took it down Climbed a mountain and I turn around If you see my reflection in the snow covered hill Well the landslide will bring it down I still haven't gotten to where I can really like get into the singing as much while still keeping the, the picking pattern. Like I'll be I'll get really into singing and then I'll realize that I can't that I'm not doing the picking pattern right. I still still have a little work to do on that one. I've been doing a lot of exercising and working on my working on my strength and stuff. And it's been it's been definitely uh, Cutting into my ukulele time a little bit. But she can throw me around like nothing now. But yeah, I can beat that up real good. She has seen her abusing me with her ukulele earlier. It was something else. Thank you, Lisa K. I couldn't find the uh, asparagus. And shout out Lisa it's K. Off Fisca to the Frank right Lindsay. behind the lettuce. I found myself in a brown paper bag, but then I tripped on a cloud and fell eight miles high. I tore my mind on a jagged sky. I just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. My condition was in Someone painted April Fools in big black letters on a dead end side Put my foot on the gas as I went off the road And blew out my mind A miles out Memphis, I ain't got no spare. Eight miles straight up downtown somewhere. I just dropped in to see what condition my condition was in. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. What condition my condition was in. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. What condition my condition was in. Push my soul into a deep dark hill hole and then I followed it in. I found myself calling out as I was crawling in. Got so uptight that I couldn't unwind. I saw 
But she's going to not mute her mic either. Trisha, what's up? Howdy doody. Uh, we are starting to prepare smashed potatoes where we take little small potatoes and we smash them and air fry them with all kinds of good stuff on them. They're a delicious treat. And we're going to have steak and mushrooms and asparagus. We're so I'm so excited. I'm getting real excited. Uh, it's almost you know what time. It's uh, three minutes till you know what time. You know what time it is. Let's look at the potatoes. Let's look at the progress. So far as a uh, sous chef, I've prepped chef's garlic and asparagus. And I've got the potatoes parboiling. Uh, I'm going to check them at 10 minutes in case they're parboiling a little faster than we want them to. And we'll see you back in the other place. Come with me to the other place. Welcome to the other place. Frank, you missed Strip tease. Frank, you miss me, strip tease. Oh, it's about time! Um, Trisha, it's steak Diane tonight with asparagus and smash. You told her already, huh? I didn't say steak asparagus Diane. Asparagus and smash taters. Shout out steak Diane. And you know what time it is. You but know what time it is. Everyone's favorite time. The ultimate amazing time. Solo. Oh, here she comes. She heard her call. She knows her song. Get on in there, girl. Get in there, girl. She looks a little bit like. Oh. I was gonna say she looks a little bit like Master Splinter, Do you but think she's a little bit. She could be a little. Other paw, girl. Give me your other paw. There we go. Yeah, I think that paw's sore. Poor girl. Gosh, dang she it. got a sore paw on the beach. She ran like a mad woman. Son of a beach. Poor little baby. Sorry, little baby. Sock check. They have flowers on it and they say she believed she, she could, so she did. 
I got these for my sister. Oh, she is slipping on her poor little foot. Oh, no. After dinner, we'll check, we'll look at it. Yeah, I think it's probably just sore because she was running so crap. I mean, she, she was went, so excited. She went wild. She went wild oh, and crazy. Got, oh, yeah, we got them. Steak Diane. Steak Diane has, this, has. This camera looks crooked. Hey. We didn't check it before stream, and I probably hey. knocked it off a couple times. Hey, 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 it's crooked today. Let's, you want me to go? I'll, I'll go man, man the station and see if we're crooked. You done? You going back to rest, you little good girl? Oh, my poor baby. My poor little baby. Okay. You want to come up? Oh, I got you. I'll just, I'll just carry you like a little baby. Oh, yeah. That's a good girl. She's a good girl. Mwah. She got a hurt front paw. She went too hard. She went too hard. Fig boo! 2024. We gotta get. We got. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I'm doing a bad job. I'm gonna go put her on the couch. There you go, girl. You rested off. Okay. I can only see the bottom of the asparagus, if that's what we're talking about. Come down. Cause can you see like, can you see above my head? Uh, just a little bit, yeah. We had, didn't we have it so you could see right here? Uh, I'm sure we did. Yeah, just tilt it down a bit. That should be good. Is that, can you see me too? Yeah, it cuts a little tiny. Well, uh, you can't see all of you, or you can't see, cut your head off a little bit, and you can't see all of the cutting board. But How did we get it so that it was? Did we have higher? Maybe. Maybe back further a little bit. Uh, let me give it a little, little twerk. A little twerk. Oh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. We got good coverage, I think. Look at those mushrooms. Ooh. Well, Chloe's not too hurt to go up the stairs, so that's good. She's putting herself dead right now. Oh, good night, Chloe. Get better soon. Big boot, we gotta hit the campaign trail soon. Yeah, it's about that time, I'd say. Oh man, you know what other time it is? Spin the... Is that it? It is. Wow. Time for a wheel spinning of the future... I don't know. Hold on. Of the century. Of the day century. It's okay, Chloe. It's not that big of a deal. It's just yeah. another wheel spin. But 30 likes. Here we go. Spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. That was a solo. Deal. And you know who it's brought to you by? It's brought to you by the fine, fine folks over at... Duh.
Hello, Goldie Cobb. April showers bring PC streams. Hi, Satin Jojo. Yeah, Goldie Cobb. Nailed it, Goldie Cobb. Jojo's in there uh, chopping some mushrooms. She just got done playing us some awesome tunes. Tunes and mushrooms. Uh, those potatoes were set for 10 minutes. Yeah, I set them for a little bit longer. Okay. Sweet. Goldie's in the house. Brought to you by Deluge. We got little baby doobies infused with hash. Which, you can't beat that, really. Bang for your buck. Oh, Jojo. Nobody can hear you. Here we have cutting board asthma. Is that too much cutting board? <laughs> Let us know. More cutting board, less cutting board. Go Purdue! I'll root for anybody. So if I That's end up rooting for the other person that they're going against, I'm sorry. Did you use the brush on the ends of these asparaguses? No, I did not yet. Don't want Sandy. Don't want Sandy's asparagus. Yeah, I never, I never thought about the brush. Less cutting board, more JoJo. Oh. Okay. Mic up stat. Good job. Way to go. The difference in color in between the two cameras is st staggering. <laughs> staggering. <laughs> staggering. It's staggering, quite frankly. Ha! <laughs> Frank! That should be, that's the code word. Ah! Frank? Oh, staggering? No, when you say Frank, but you just mean you're just using the word. Does asparagus make anybody else crave steak? It's such a classic combo that I... Whenever I, there are asparagus in the store for the first time of the season, I always want steak. I feel like it's the only thing, it's the only appropriate veg for steak, other than broccolini. Hell <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of like asparagus, but with longer hair. Yeah. Just a little bit ago. Just a little bit. Make sure and brush out your zucchini tops so you don't get any sandy bits. Brush out your asparagus tops too. Oh, did I say zucchini? Zucchini. That's zucchini. weird. That looks like a giant bottle of Jaeger. That's a giant bottle of olive oil. In front of you, Joe. Oh. Yeah, that's the good stuff. That's the California olive oil. That's the Cali. The it's the Cali. best stuff I could find in the store that really tastes like real good olive oil. Fig Boot's not a fan of asparagus. Oh, it does make your pee smell like asparagus. You get that sneak up pee that you don't, you're not aware of and you're like, whoa, I don't want to do that again. I said I'm excited to eat asparagus and Seth said he's excited to pee asparagus. It's kind of fun to switch up the flavor, you know? I mean the, the smell. Pee, the pee smell? Yeah. Are you drinking your pee over there? No, 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 no. I don't condone drinking your pee. <laughs> Chloe, I said oh, I don't I do. condone it. Or I condemn it. You condemn it? Do you want me to come in and cut some more stuff with you? We could tag team back no, all I No, all I have left to do is the garlic and green onion. And these are going to take, you know, 28 minutes or whatever. 28 minutes of pleasure, 28 minutes of heaven. Or I think they don't quite, I think they take more like 20 minutes, really. Where is the metal spatula? On this week's 
I want it. I kind of want to take the mallet and just. Will it smash? But it's a real fine. It would be fun, but not effective. It would be counterproductive, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know. She says no. No way, Jose. So you want to smash them and then let them sit for a few minutes to kind of steam off or whatever? These are small. They're not fingerling. What are they? Do they have a name? Well, there's three different kinds. Baby potatoes. There's blue ones and red ones. Assorted color baby potato bag. Yeah. And you parboil them 12 minutes, 14? Uh, I think I did, uh, yeah, I did 14. And then you smash them like this. Add any lubricant of your choice. And any seasonings of your choice, any bits of meat of your choice, pretty much anything you want. He said lubricant. Ma maybe some cheese of your choice. Yeah. And then you fry those up in the air fryer or in the mic or in the oven or whatever you got. Just bake them up, pull them out. They're real good in the air fryer because they get real nice and crispy. Sour cream. Ooh. A little green onion or chive. Maybe a little bit more of that preferred lube. Whether it's olive oil or, you know, whatever. Butter. You could do any kind of little, little butter. zingy horseradish sauce or butter. Oh, man, that sounds good. You could get creative. Little little cranberry sauce with a, then a cream sauce and a horseradish sauce. Make it a little holiday smashed potato. Man, he's got ideas over there. Serve up a platter of those so they're a little different than the old mashed potato thing. But if you're doing it on scale, you're gonna have to have a big air fryer. Ooh, you could deep fry them, imagine. Oh man, that'd be hard to keep them together though, I think. Even if you let them steam off? What if you steamed them off and then froze them? And then battered them? <laughs> okay, never mind. You must be real hungry to think about deep fried stuff. Oh man. I must be. It's probably the uh, deluge doobie. Yeah. Delugey. That'll do it. Did I say, Fig Boot said, give me broccoli, I'm not a fan of asparagus. Yeah, you told me he's not a fan of asparagus. And then he said, my pee's fine without asparagus. Well, <laughs> well it's fine, but it can always be better. He said, roasted sweet potatoes are the bomb ditty. We love ourselves some sweet potatoes. JoJo makes sweet potato fries and like, uh, not home, home fry. What would you call the sweet potato cube? Sweet potato hash fry? I don't know what you call them. Yeah, hash or home fries either, I think. It's kind of what they so are. They're so good. What a yeah. perfect amount you did. Look at how perfect. Oh, it's like a piece of art. <sighs> Nicely done. You smashed them just right. To perfect proportions. This Why, is thank the, you. The seasoning process. Could Salt, you, could pepper. Could you move a little bit to your right? Just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Onion. Onion powder? Onion, gr uh, granulated onion. Granulated onion. Roasted garlic. Paprika. 
Hit him up, hit him up, hit him. Hit him up. Garlic or, powder. Or a big fan of lots of spices. They're so good for you, and they're so delicious. And parsley. And mustard. More, more, more. Will it, will it spice? And oregano. <gasps> oh, she's crazy. Will it spice? The question is, will it spice? Oh, it'll spice. Oh, you know it'll. You know it'll spice. I did a uh, these um, Mediterranean bowls that had cumin and nutmeg. They turned out so good. Jojo's showing off her uh, destiny. She's a boss. Jojo, Jojo, yo. Remember those days? Jojo used to be a professional destiny player, pretty much. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was always the worst on the squad. Well, the maybe best. not always. Not was always. The best. On our core squad, I was. Big Boot says, I like healthier choices, but it's limited for me. I like junk food. I like my junk food. Man, it is so, it is such an ingrained addiction for most folks, including myself. I feel like I've finally broken free of junk yeah. food addiction. We don't ever, I haven't been in any middle aisle of the store in well over a year. But there are cravings. I, uh, Bill, Bill Cody, shout out Bill Cody, posted these peanut butter chocolate, chocolate peanut butter pie Oreo video, and I am intrigued. I was so intrigued that I admitted to myself that I would really like to try those, but I'm going to resist the urge. Talking about it helps, I think. We had I the like Reese's I can have pieces it vicariously. A we had those Reese's pieces A bombs. Mmm, those were delicious. <laughs> Big Boot says, Jojo, say it isn't so. We got the Christensen brothers. Hold, hold it close up. Let's see. Fancy. Oh. So fancy. We've been using this for five years for marinades and whatnot. We say fur. Fur. <laughs> we do say fur. We say fur. You say fur around here? Dodo, say it ain't so. What? Say what ain't so? Maybe that we had Reese's Pieces A bombs. Oh man. Ooh, they were good. But we learned a lesson. We always, they used to be called Reese's Pieces A bombs, but I think for obvious reasons the place was no longer allowed to call them Reese's Pieces A bombs. So they started calling them chocolate peanut butter A bombs. And this time we went through and we ordered the chocolate peanut butter A-bomb and the gal asked us if we wanted the vanilla also and I said no because I thought that the chocolate peanut butter A-bomb was the chocolate peanut butter A-bomb and it turns out we are pretty sure that the chocolate peanut butter A-bomb actually is supposed to have vanilla in it. Usually they just put it in there and they don't ask us. Yeah. So next time if they ask, we're going to say yes, vanilla, please. It was still super good, but vanilla. Vanilla is really good, too. Makes it have more of an ice creamy kind of thing coming across. I'm going to do the mushrooms in here to start with, and then I'm going to move them into the 
steak ju the st the steak sear stuff. I'm gonna go up since we're over chopping, so that we can get all the hot oven action. Sounds good. Hot oven action. Don't miss it. <laughs> it was funny. Sounds like. Bill Cody, I'm just about fed up with Bill Cody. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I have, I would have never known about those Oreos. I would have never known. <laughs> I love it. He is always posting delicious stuff. Shout out Bill Cody. We if love you guys food aren't porn subbed up here, on Bill Cody, he posts some awesome nature videos and reviews of some of the stuff that I I sometimes want in my life. Maybe a tree. I wish I could get like four of them. No, I don't. I don't. I don't want four of them. I want a whole box. A whole bag. Oh, sorry. Big Boo says, not been in the middle aisle of a grocery store long. Yep, that's where they get you. You go to the, the vegetables, the meat, the dairy, the bulk and you can pretty much avoid the middle aisles because that's where all the all the stuff that we're trying to avoid eating for our health for your health for our health those are now yeah, for, 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 for our health it's for our health it's for our health figs it's for our health don't worry figs it's for your you, health you ever close your eyes so hard that i don't know you're surreal stoned and it's weird when you close them real hard. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Maybe. Maybe so. My eyes are so heavy. Maybe so, maybe not. Maybe. Sweetie. Maybe sweetie. The pink shears have entered the game plan. I got these from the hardware store. We've got the pink shears. That there means, are meat shears. That means raw meat is on the table. Raw meat. Introducing raw meat to the situation. <sighs> this is where things get dicey, folks. The dish is steak, Diane. This is where things get slicey. The dish is steak, Diane. The side dish is smashed baby potatoes ribeye steaks i don't think that traditionally they do steak diane's with ribeye steaks i think usually they do like a sirloin or something and the veg is asparagus it's going to be amazing chef jojo is an expert she's been cooking live on the internet for three plus years She's trained, trained professional at here. the Cooking Institute of Chinawith Bay. Yeah. She took a uh, tutelage under. Jean Pierre Montgomery Douglas Danglebutt. What was that? Huh? What was that again? <laughs> what? I didn't hear you. <laughs> what was that? I was, uh, what was that? <laughs> what, was, uh, what was that? What was that? What was that? What's even going on? Uh, I have a shout out. Shout out to the shout out. Shout out to Jojo Strums. Shout out to you. Camera two. Camera one. Camera two. Anything I can do? Uh, no, I don't think so. Any dishes? I'm only going to salt and pepper these. Only salt and pepper them. 
And then steak Diane the shit out and of And one her. thing that I learned that I love, where did I learn this from? Is to render the fat before you do the sear. Cause it's like when you hold them together and you do the sear and you're using your tongs to hold them, it messes up the sear. So if you do the rendering of the fat first, then it doesn't do that. I'm going in fat side down. She went in fat side down, I repeat. Rendering fat off the git. She's an expert working at warp speed. The way she's executed not only the side dish, the meat, the veg, the accoutrement. Epic. Chef, do we need a cream sauce for the smashed potatoes? Or a cream, a creamy drizzle? Uh, yeah, we could do a creamy drizzle instead of just plain sour cream. Oh, plain sour cream's good. Like I like plain sour cream. Yes, chef. Like what kind of? I was just thinking sour cream and green onion, but. Uh, I got nothing against a creamy drizzle. That sounds, no, I mean, that would be perfect. I mean, we could do like a, a horseradishy creamy drizzle. On the potatoes. On the potatoes. Talk about the potatoes. Oh, the, the sizzle. Yeah, who doesn't like that sound? The sizzle. It's a good sound. LT. Hello, LT. Hey, LT. Says shrooms, beef, and asparagus. Oh, my. Hello, Jojo. Hi, Sad. Hello, LT. Jojo's in there slaying it. It's smelling so good. It's redonkulous. I'm sorry, I missed what your final uh, statement on the, the horse What's that? What's that? What'd you say? I forget what you, or I didn't hear what you said your final statement on the horseradish drizzle was. On the potato! On the potato! I like the idea. Maybe a little Worcestershire, or Worcestershire and a little... Horseradish and Worcestershire and a drizzle. Is it too much? I think just horseradish and Is salt it and crazy? pepper. Crazy. LT's on. They're way. LT's gonna be here any moment. Nice. We'll save you a portion. Come on over. Jojo, Jojo can have one, and I'll have a half. And. Actually, I could stall out some hot dogs, and you guys could have a steak. Plenty of asparagus and smashed potatoes to go around. LT, the wheel's been treating me well tonight. It's been a wonderful evening. That's some serious sizzle. I got this thing at like 475 degrees. You got it nailed. You got it nailed. Ooh, look at it go. Looks like a pretty good rendering. We're rendering the fat currently, LT. Or Chef, Chef Jojo Strums is rendering the fat. Oh, I need a couple sprigs of rosemary. Ooh, I got you, Chef. Yes, Chef. Oh, it smells divine. Look at the... It smells so uh, meaty. Look at the rendering. Oh, hurt me. That hurt. That hurts me so good. Time. Do we have rosemary? Rosemary. It's in the drawer. Right.
Is it out maybe already or something? Oh, cat. Sorry, is... Chef, I'm a knucklehead. Uh, don't be sorry, it's all good. You dunce? You dunce? Oh, I failed. I tried to be I tried to be a sous chef and dang it. Perfect LT. You're doing great. We can split. I am blind. Yeah, I'll split. I don't need a whole big old steak. LT says I'm a tiny lady, doesn't take much. <laughs> and then she says, too funny. Men are blind. It's true. She she even told me where it was. And I was like, mmm, um, I don't know. I'll look everywhere but there. I'm a dork. I'm a goof. It's the truth. Oh, this is exciting though. Steak Diane. What can can you tell us again what steak Diane consists of? Uh so it's basically it's the mushroom sauce that makes it the Diane part. Uh it is uh, mushrooms with a gravy, a creamy uh, mustard and um, Worcestershire gravy sauce. Ooh. Glenn C it, says, does it have cheese? No. No cheese. But no a, cheese. The, the, the gravy is kind of creamy. Or a cream base, right? Yes. Oh. Oh yeah, these potatoes are doing so on. He says, "Is it like chicken marsala?" I'd say yes. There's no, I mean, there's no curry. That, I mean, in the way that it's done, I think. But different flavors. I think marsala is a wine sauce. An Italian. Marsala? Wine sauce. I thought it was a... Like chicken marsala is a Indian. It, it's a dry white wine. It is? Yeah. What am I thinking of? Uh, maybe it's something pronounced similarly. Masala, is that a thing? Oh. Oh man. Oh, it smells so good. So masala is an Indian dish. Okay. Marsala is an Italian white wine dish. Got it. So it is similar to marsala, but it's no white wine substitute brandy and steak for the white wine and chicken. Is that pan so hot? Are you burning your fingers? No. Oh, stop it. Oh my goodness. This is too good. You gotta cut it out. Oh, she's basting the stink out of them. She's basting them good. Go, Jojo. Go, Jojo. Yeah, you gotta really infuse that rosemary into it with the baste. She's a master baster. Yeah.
Do you need a resting rest? Yeah. That would be wonderful. Does this work for you? Yep. We need smell of vision. We want oh, smell of vision. Oh man, it smells good. LT, that's the truth. We should we should make chicken marsala sometime. We, I guess we don't have a dry white wine. That would be the the limiting factor. If we come across a bottle of dry white wine, something I can do. I wanna dump out some of this a little bit of this greasiness. There's a there's a can in there, an actual can. If you're worried that's too hot. I think it's fine. Hot, hot. I'm not scared. Hot, hot grease. Shout out greasy. Yeah. It was a beautiful morning. We had a giant breakfast to get us fueled. We waxed snowboards. Enjoyed the eclipse. JoJo's looking like a professional in there because she is a professional in there. And then goes the booze. No, we are up in the Pacific Northwest and we got a quarter eclipse, roughly. Early on, around 11 o'clock our time. Oh, goodness. You can smell that brandy. Mmm. Do you want to make the horseradish cream sauce since it's kind of your you got it your baby? I'll make it. You got it. It's your baby. It's my baby. I'm gonna make my baby. <laughs> He's gonna make his baby right now. I'm gonna make a great horseradish cream sauce. I'm going with the pure horseradish. Yeah, I'm that's going, the way. I'm going with the pure. We're going in. We got uh, beef broth, Dijon mustard. And Worcestershire, about about a half a cup of beef broth and about a tablespoon each of Dijon and Worcestershire. Is there a cream uh, that you're going to put in it? I was thinking I was maybe going to use sour cream. I couldn't decide between the rich almond milk and the sour cream. Um, or... Even cream cheese is a nice thick option. You it need... calls for heavy cream, but we don't have that. What's you, that? You wouldn't need much sour cream, would you? No. Uh, I wonder if this would be an even smattering between us. Yeah. Do you need yeah. more than that or less? Uh, less, probably. I'll take a little more then. Yeah. Oh, you know what else we need? Our green onion. Oh, I wonder how careful I should be with this stuff. I'm going to be somewhat careful. Why do I keep throwing away my spoon? Mmm, that's going to be good. You want to wait to add the creamy stuff till the very end. I usually turn off the heat and then add it. 
So we're going to let this simmer and thicken while the asparagus... I'm going to add a little bit of broth. You can always, if things start getting a little too brown or, you know, uh, it looks like you might get some little burny spots, you can always just add a little bit of broth. And it's good for asparagus too because it helps it cook through the middle. If you're ever making a horseradish sauce with sour cream and horseradish and salt and pepper, you can add just a little bit of filtered water if you want it to be more of a little bit more of a drizzly consistency. Yep. Rather than a dollop consistency. Or you can, if you want it to be zingy, you can add a little lime or lemon juice. I almost want to put the sauce off to the side. What do you think about that? Rather, they usually would put it over the top of the steak, but I don't want to mess up that beautiful sear. Yeah, or you can put it on the bottom, but you don't want to mess up either side sear. I feel like this is pretty mild, but that's probably okay. Yeah. Should I go in hotter? You could go a little hotter. Go higher, hotter, double. Yeah, I think a double would be fine. A double, double down? Yeah. Double down on the horsey? I think so. Okay. Oh, man. I better just wash one of my spoons. Oh, that's looking, that's looking pretty good. I think these are... I like my asparagus al dente. Don't let them get wrinkly around here. Don't let your asparagus get wrinkly around here. There will be consequences. We're doing steak Diane with Diane sauce on the side. And smashed taters. Oh, green onion. I keep forgetting. I keep remembering I and then forgetting. I'll get it. How many do you think we need? Two. Just a couple? Yeah. Just a two couple. Just a two couple. Two nice, two nice onions. Two lovely green onions. Ooh, you guys know about muffaletta mix? I need chat in here. I left chat. It's so Sorry. good. We talked about muffaletta. Did we? Okay. Yeah, I think somebody. Somebody's a fan. Who said? Where'd my phone go? Where'd my phone go? Exactly. Where'd my phone go? Where'd my phone go? Where'd my phone splooshing. go? I'm splooshing sauce. I have doggy dinner time stuck in my head. <laughs> doggy dinner time is the best, best time. Be -de be -be -de -be. Boo -de -do 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 -do. But do 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 do. Oh man. That one looks a little weird. Oh man. Sorry, chef. No worries. Sorry, Chef. Jeez. What are you, colorblind or something? I'm a little colorblind, <laughs> Chef. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. Attack colorblind, Chef. I'm not very bright. I'll try harder next time. You better. We're not even a boobed at all, are we? No, I gotta get us a boobed. We'll probably, we're probably not too far off of a breastedness. Let's see. Yo, hi Tess is in the house. Hi what Tess. Hi Tess is in the house. Your mermaid's house. been waiting for you for She's so been long. For you all night long, all night. 
All night long, Hatesh. All night long, Hatesh. All night long, Hatesh. All night long. I was doing my perky dance for Hatesh. All night long, Hatesh. Ooh, look at the taters. Oh, wait, hold on. Look at the taters. Ooh. Do you see them taters, high taters? See them taters? Oh, yeah. Do you see them taters? Miss Cannabis. Hello. Miss Cannabis? Miss C. Love Miss it. C. Miss, Miss C. Shout out Miss Cannabis. We'll have to check her out. Heck yeah. If we like cannabis. If anybody wants to drop Miss Cannabis's channel, we will, we're a big fan of cannabis around here. It's true. We're big fan We're can of fans. Can. We're can of fans. We're fan of cans. But I'm not smoking a can of garbage the night before we gotta go snowboarding ever again. And I'm gonna try not to eat a handful of gummies the night before we <sighs> go snowboarding much too many times more. <laughs> and if I do, I'm gonna have the right wax on my snowboard. Yeah, that's a big deal. Okay, I'm gonna try to adjust back down to the plating view. Now that we're on the plating segment, everybody hold on. Sorry about the adjustment here. Oh my gosh, those are delicious. Oh no. Mm. I think this one. Yeah, that one's yours. Oh, it smells so good in there. Stop it. Sorry. You, you cut it out. Are you okay with me putting the sauce like in the middle? I'm okay with anything you want to do. In other words, you totally. Oh, no. Perfect. Miss Cannabis subscribed. Thumbs up. Hi, Tish. I'm not long. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're making Steak Diane, which is a steak with a creamy brandy mushroom sauce with smashed potatoes, which are smashed baby. Oh, 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 mm. oh, she likes it. She oh, likes it. So good. She likes it a lot. Maybe a little too much. She uh, also made asparagus. Oh. It's spring in the Northwest, so asparagus is on the menu. One of the best veggies, in our opinion, to go with a nice steak. Oh, Jojo. I think I made too much cream sauce, and I, but you outdid yourself. That was a side thought. <laughs> Man, I might want to dip a little steak in that sauce. Ooh, I want to dip a lot of steak in that sauce. All the sauces. Oh, I'm excited. This is about to turn into too much eating sounds for a lot of people. Too much eating sounds. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to get real eating soundy. Oh, I can come do that while you finish the this the, the thingy. I was just wanting to get a little water in it, maybe. Go for it. Shout out Kathy H for the amazing hot pad set and yeah. cast iron scour these scouring pads this one's a hemp one so you can just knit yourself a nice scouring pad for your cast iron or any cleaning really it's great for any dishes but it's especially great for the casty Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. I'm gonna put green onion everywhere, but I'm gonna especially focus on the potato part. I like it. I double that notion. I second that notion. That's probably what I meant to do with it. Yeah, double and it's good. I think double it. Double, double it. Why not? Double, take double. our suppies. You know it's time for the suppies when you're time to eat your suppies. Gotta get your suppies. Get your suppies here. Jojo has selected us the finest supplements known to mankind <laughs> to uh, optimize our performance to the maximum. Okay, we gotta bring in that sauce so we can do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll come help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come help. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come help. Ooh, this is gonna be good, everybody. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It might be a little too good for camera. I feel like I might. Oh, it's too good. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Did you get, a, like, the plating? I don't. I didn't get a close up of it. So good. Assume your last name. Oh, so good. I give oh. you permission to assume mine, Hi Tesh. Stop it. Mm. This mashed potato is like a little potato chip. Oh my gosh. Wait till you get to that one. Mm. 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 That one's mm. especially chippy. I smashed the crap out of it. Mm. Oh my goodness. Jojo. Mm -mm -mm. What'd you do? Uh oh. Mmm, Georgia. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. It's so easy to have bad asparagus, and Jojo gets the dap. She's gonna get three daps. That's how I know he really likes it when he daps me more than once. Mmm. Steak Diane deserves a dap. Man, that I haven't sauce even had the steak good, with the huh? sauce. What? What? That's Brandy and Dijon? And Worcestershire. Mmm. 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 Four for four. Steak. Oh. See how we got the cook on the steak there. It's mm. raw. Mm. As Greasy would say. Mm. It looks. I feel like it looks less cooked. In the camera. Yeah. I'd say it's uh, medium rare. I was thinking verging on the edge of rare. This table, we're giving it to this table. Yeah. We're making it squeak. Mm. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. I would say medium rare. I'm dipping. I'm doing the dip. Mm. I'm 
bite now more than I can chew. Ah, good one, high trash. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Thanks, LT. Mm. I love cooking delicious meals. Mm. It's so funny, you know, five years ago I kind of was like, oh, I have to cook something. I don't feel like cooking. And now it's, I just love it. I really enjoy my time in the kitchen. What, are you going to eat those? You going to eat that? They're so good, aren't they? Oh, so good. Your horseradish cream sauce was genius. Mm. It brings it up a level. Mm. Mm. Your everything mm. is genius. Mm. Mm. I want you guys to hear how crispy it is. Let's see if we can... Mm. Oh, I bet they can hear. I wouldn't be surprised if they can not hear. Mm. Dipping. The potato, I mean, everything is amazing, but the potatoes are kind of still in the show. They're so good. Mm. Mm. Jojo. I think those are the best mashed potatoes I ever made. They're Maybe amazing. it's that horseradish cream sauce. No, it's the, the thick, they're like potato chips. Mmm. And it's hard to decide between doing the Diane sauce and doing the horseradish sauce. Mmm. Mm. Your foodgasm, full mm. on. Fully. Mmm. Mm. The Diane sauce stands on its own. <laughs> it really is the best LT. It turned out the perfect consistency. It's mm. nice. It doesn't go everywhere, but it's saucy enough. Okay. I was kind of... If I put my leg right there, then we don't get the rock so much. Oh, good one. Thanks. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm. The asparagus. I mean, nothing steals <laughs> the show because everything's so amazing. It's like a perfect crunchy. Thank you so much. Hi, Tesh. You need some water? No. You know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try something crazy. Oh, both sauces? Gonna, yeah, how'd you know? I knew it. I'm going to dip and I'm going to Diane. I'm going to call this one the Dip and Diane. The Dip and Diane. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to give the Dip and Diane. You got to try that. Dip, dip. Diane. Oh, whoops. Mm. 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 This is like my favorite mm. meal we've had in a long time. Mm. Mm. We have a lot of good Fun. food around here. Food, exactly, Deuterino. Deuterino. Homemade food for the homemade soul. Mm. Jojo really knocked this one out of the park. Mm. And there are so many great Chloe treats on these. Uh, sir what are they? Sirloin? Ribeyes. Ribeyes. Mm. Mm 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 mm. Oh, I gotta go dip in Diane again. Mm. Are you blonde, LT? Mm. Uh oh, watch out. Look out for high tesh.
He, li he really likes those blondes. And you already have his last name, so, you know. Oh, very dark brown. Dang it. No, nah, very dark Mine's brown. very dark brown as well. Looks like it's just the mermaid for now. Mm-hmm. Well, keep trying, though. Mm-hmm. I'm actually quite disappointed in this steak, though, really. Like, the quality of the steak, it has those... A lot of fat. Gristly. Gristly. Yeah. Bits. Kind of all over the place. Yeah. But... The flavor and the sear and everything are on point. And the parts that don't have those gristly bits, it's tender and delicious. Yeah, exactly. It's true. Oops. Mm. But yeah, the gristle is sneaky. It's like you don't you don't think it's gonna be there and then you get it in your mouth and you're mm -hmm. like, Oh, hi there, gristle. Nice to meet you, gristle. Mmm, this is so good. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Mm. Embrace, embrace the grizzly. Arr. Embrace the grizzle. Oh, the gristle. The grizzle? Do the Reno. In the house. <laughs> I'm embracing the grizzle. I usually eat more grizzle than I should. Can you guys hear the al dente on the asparagus? Mm. Oh, you're good at it. <laughs> I have embraced the grizzle. Everything really turned out amazing. Oh, so good. I want to eat it all over again. I'll have another. Mm. I love doing the double. The creamy Diane. Double sauce. Dipping du dip Diane. Mm hmm. Me too. Every time. Every time, you know it. Dipping Diane. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh man, I'm getting full. JoJo made us no bakes for our weekend treat. They're mm -hmm. amazing. What's your no-bake recipe like? Um, a cup of peanut butter. Half a cup of honey. Um, half a cup of coconut oil. Like a splash of maple syrup, and like maybe two or three tablespoons. Vanilla, like a couple teaspoons of vanilla. And you cook all that just until it's melted. You stir it on like medium low until it's melted. And then add cocoa powder. But I'm going to do it with, I usually do like a half a cup of cocoa powder. Uh, but I'm going to do it with peanut butter powder next time and do peanut butter no bakes. And then uh, two cups of oats. Sometimes I, I like to do a haystack kind of thing and use coconut. So I'll do some coconut and some oat usually. But Sad doesn't really like coconut. I, I don't mind anymore really. Hey Zed, thanks. Zed's back. Oh my gosh, Zed. Um, it was, it, it's, been a, it's been a murder of food around here. It's mm. been uncalled for. It's been amazing. Jojo's smashed potatoes were the best ever. They really did turn out great. I smoke Jojo. You always do. 
Mm. Thanks for coming back in, Zed. Great to see you. Or maybe you've been here the whole time. Thanks for being here. I'm making a mess. Welcome to my life. Make a little mess. Smoke a little pot. Get down tonight. Yeah. Get down tonight. Ooh. Smoke a little pot. <laughs> Make a little mess. Mm -mm -mm. If you're not subbed up on Zed's channel, I suggest you check it out. Make sure and watch Christmas in April. Definitely a recommended video. But definitely check out all of his art. Aw, shucks. Thanks, Zed. We're on TV. We're on TV. We made it. Oh man, the only thing that was missing was a big piece of bread to wipe up all this delicious juice. Too many ingredients to remember. <laughs> yeah. I really should post my recipes. Oh. <laughs> the cook turned out good. I'm really glad we left them in the fridge. They would have definitely been overdone otherwise. I've, I've learned. But we do have some thick cut ones that hopefully are better. Mm hmm I'm getting full, but I'm still eating. How could you stop eating that? It's so good. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Tesh is 39. Hi, Tesh. I'm 41. 39's a good year. Yeah, I like 39. All, all of them, they keep getting better every year. It's amazing. It is pretty dang old. I'm pretty sure the best is yet to come. Oh, lucky you, Hi Tesh. You wanted me to finish that song, Larry, but I don't remember it. Hi Tesh looks younger. No, that was the end. Of oh. oh. That is the end. Of it just takes a spark to get a fire going. I always forget about that part. Hi, Tess is younger. Looks younger. Oh. I think we're all going to stay looking a little younger. I think I look right about my age. Yeah, me too. When I was younger, I looked younger than my age, but that's only because I was fat. And fat people just have baby faces. Hey, are you saying I was fat? Oh, yeah. Huh? And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I could say voluptuous. I was very voluptuous. Voluptuous. I was very voluptuous. There's no M in there. <coughs> oh, what Chloe's ready for her steak. What did I say, Ron? There's no M? Correct. Voluptuous? Mm-hmm. What? You know, oh, open. Lump. A lump in my bones. Now High Touch says he's turning 59 tomorrow. I think I'm turning Japanese. I think I'm turning Japanese. I really think so. High Touch is fucking with us over here. You're probably a blonde. Oh, I touch the blonde and get it all on. Blondes always seek out blondes. Makes sense. 
everything's coming together now. The clip, the new Madrid fault line, high tension of the bottom. It all makes sense. Mm hmm. NASA. I mean, CERN. It's kind of blowing up my whole world right now. I guess. But it all links together. I'm going to put this whole potato in my out. mouth. You did what? That was a big bite. That was mm -hmm. a potato. Mm. Was that a delicious potato bite? I'm so it's jealous. Oh, man. Everything's starting to add up now. I feel like it's I'm all ready. coming together. I feel like we've all been. I love asparagus. I can't wait to smell it again when I pee. Not everybody has their pee affected by asparagus. Or maybe they just don't know. Maybe. maybe. Chloe's waiting for her steak. They need to update the firmware. You probably have plenty for her. I probably don't need to save anything. Yeah, no. Not saving any, folks. I'm going to give her actual steak, not that grizzly stuff. Oh, she would love the grizzly. She's all about that grizzly. She just embraced the grizzly like the day when I said it. She's being such a good girl, I'm waiting patiently for her steak bits. That's how she do. She's a real good girl. It's true. I don't care what anybody says. Huh? I don't care what anybody says about her. Or what the chat We need the doggy about. cam. You got, she'll probably do the wide eye thing she does when the food's really delicious. Poor little sore foot. She's the happiest little steak dog or what? I think she likes it. I think she really likes it. Oh, that was a big piece for a little dog. That's her favorite kind. Come up here a little closer. Come on. Come over here, girl. Oh, she's going to lay down. Come on up. Come on up, boo boo. Okay, sit. Oh gosh, she just wants to stay back on the rug. She likes to rug to piss. Will you sit pretty? Sit pretty. Come on. Sit pretty, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. You can do it. Oh, good sit pretty. Oh, good sit pretty. Huh? <laughs> Aww. Yeah, exactly, LT red, but not bloody. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh, you getting big. She just swallowed that one whole. That was a big one. Sit. Shake. Come on, baby. Good girl. Mm. 
so good, huh, girl? Oh. She swallowed it whole every time. Yeah, good. Yeah, hey, you're not sitting anymore. She she does that. She as soon as you give it to her, she stands up. There we go. That was pretty good. <laughs> she is going to sit there and hope for more. But I'm not going to give her any more. I gave her too much already. She's just a tiny little belly dog. Belly just a tiny little belly. She is just teeny tiny. She's trying to look as pathetic as possible. I don't even get any more steak. Woe is me. She says, steak really helps feet to heal. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> You're very attentive when you want steak, girl. She's like, that's the best thing Okay, you can have one more little piece. Oh, you push over my mouth. Chew it a little this time, would you? Nope. Heck no. Okay. She's like, my stomach acid will take care of it just fine, Mom. I'm saving that for later in my belly. Look at it. Sad's got that place cleaned up. Boom, moving. Looking good, baby. So Thank fun. you so much. Chloe loves her steak time. Chloe loves her steak time. Steak time. Chloe steaky time is her favorite, favorite time. Everyone's yeah. Time. You think that doggy dinner time is her favorite time. But really, it's steaky steak, steak time. Steak time in the sink. Thank you. Steak time in the sink. And... And... That's it. No end then. No end then. Yeah. <laughs> She's like... I guess it's Chloe's like, you got any more of that steak in there? I'll eat as much of that as you got, guys. We did it. Freaking did it. We're the big wieners. I've been, I've been muted all night. Dang. I was just coming in to mute myself and just almost unmuted myself. Dang. Oh, no, no need for that, Chloe. No, no, no. The neighbor dogs are going off. She really likes to bark at those barking neighbor dogs. Chloe, stop it. We're going snowboarding tomorrow. We only have three more weeks of snowboarding left. Tres mas mesas en español preferando. Just in case anybody perverse, prefers perverse, just in case anybody's perverse, I know I am. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, nothing. It's <laughs> inside joke. It. What? You're having inside jokes out here? What the frick, dude? You guys having freaking inside jokes and stuff, man? Inside jokes, man. 
Oh yeah. Hi Tess is a Cali surfer dude. Oh. Run so he is blonde. Ways. I don't think so, I think. How do I mute Maybe not. again? Is it the top one or the bottom one? This is the button one. The bottom. No, it is the top. No. It just went red when I hit oh that's record. Hi. Aye aye aye. Okay, is Should I get real close to the to the door so we can hear her pee? No. If I stand right over here, we'll be able to hear her pee no problem. <laughs> yeah, because I got a real strong scream. Because she pees like crazy. Oh, yeah. I can hear her peeing all the way out here. I can hear her pee. She's a peeing out here. I'm a peeing, she's a peeing, we're all asparagus a peeing. Gotta let Chloe outside, whoa, almost died. Holy macaroni. Jojo, could you pee a little quieter, jeez. You wanna go outside, Chloe? Oh, jeez. There you are. Oh, dude. She's a pan. She's a European. We heard you. You did not. You were not muted. Don't lie. You unmuted yourself with your... Apple juice. Apple juice. Uh, oh, I don't think it's quite asparagus pee yet. I should we treat apple juice. I'm what was Hitesh asking? What is that, I wonder? What is what? Do you know? What is that? Uh, Cali Surfer Dude? Uh, What's my, a Cali Surfer Dude? Do you? My dog is cuter than Hitesh. <laughs> oh, how oh, cute. You're cute. I'm gonna fill up my water. I, I only need seven more likes if there are seven of you out there <laughs> who haven't hit the like button. <laughs> or if anybody has seven alts. You got seven alts. I gotta smoke something after uh, dinner. Nightcap. I feel like the will should determine it, but I guess maybe I should just smoke one. Smoke an old fashioned. I'll smoke an old fashioned. Smoke a little old fashioned. You wanna smoke a little old fashioned as a nightcap? Jojo? Yeah. You wanna smoke a little old fashioned as a nightcap? Nightcap old fashioned? Desert. Wait. De wait. The desert dead come in here. Dessert has two S's. No, desert. It's two S's, remember? I've been over this. Oh, that's right, I did. That's right. She said, your dog's cuter than High Tesh. Nah. Hey, Sean Art. Sean Art. Hello. Good to see you. Good evening. I roll Greasy's butt so hard. Rolling that butt. Rolling that butt. Ooh, ooh. Rolling that butt. Rolling that butt. Ooh, ooh. Some people like to head to the bar when life starts hitting just a little too hard. Some people like to float out and fish, and some people like to whine and bitch. Everybody needs a little head vacation. Everybody's got their vibe. I just went on down to the dispensary, and I'm about to pack up mine. I smoke. Weed and maybe a dab Got a pop-top bottle and a couple of grams I really wanna get high right now You wanna get high, I everybody? Do. Let's get high, everybody I hope you're down I hope you're down For weed Just every about every day. day It's the first thing that I buy Every, every time, time I get paid One thing you should know about us Is that we We smoke weed 
might say I got a natural prescription for an undiagnosed medical condition. But I got weed and I'd love to share it with you. If you want some, I'll roll one for you too. Oh, weed. Weed and maybe a dab. Got a pop top bottle and a couple of grams. I really, really want to get high right now. Are you with me, everybody? I hope you're down, and if you're not, that's okay, too. Yeah. Oh, we just about every day. First thing that I buy buy every every time time I get paid. paid. One thing you should know about us is that we... We smoke weed. It's legal down in California and here in Oregon too. That's why we ain't gotta buy it from some dude in a shady hoodie looking like that dude on your screen right now. Don't buy weed from that guy. He's got the bunk, the bunk. Everybody used to always ask funk. Us. He's got the funk, actually. Yeah. Buy weed from that guy. This Never guy mind. looks like he has the best weed. We got asked outside of the grocery store, at, everywhere. I mean, everywhere. People asked us. Hey, everywhere man, we can go. Can you give me some weed? Because it's obvious that he smokes weed. And maybe a dab got a pop top bottle and a couple of grams. We're gonna get high right now. Are you with us, yeah. everybody? Vista, those blues, I hope you're down. Oh, oh we just about every day is the first thing that I buy every time I get paid. One thing you should know about us is that we we're about to get stoned like Rain Man. The steak, Diane, turned out so fucking amazing, Greasy. The potatoes, the asparagus, the steak, the sauce, the... Sad did a you name uh, horseradish cream buh, sauce buh, that we put on the potatoes buh, and dipped buh. the steak in. It was all so orgasmically delicious. Oh! Food I touched out an Indian the New Year! I touched Vista. Love to Stalls Blues and Vista Wander as well. Big time. Big time And love. welcome back, Greasy. Vista, we're getting ready to go up tomorrow. We got our boards waxed with some hot temp, hot hot snow wax. You know, the hot snow wax. Yeah, hot snow wax. Bye bye, high tech. We We love you. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks. Oh, yeah, my cute little guitar. I love it. Did you use sex wax? Yes. For this, I'm lying though, so no, we do not. This is 2024, he's like, nah uh I don't want the responsibility. Your mermaid will be meeting for you, will be waiting for you when you return, hi Tesh. Do have a nice evening too. She didn't see me. Coffee and weed, coffee and weed, coffee and weed. Weed so and good. coffee, coffee and weed, weed. And coffee. Coffee and weed. Oh, we like that. Oh, Stalls has no volume. Oh, are we? Uh, are we muted? No, we're not muted. Am uh, I still muted? I'm turn oh. me down. Turn me up. Turn me on. Turn me off. Turn. <laughs> That's my job. Glenn's is totally freaking king. Totally. Stalls is right. All hail King Glency. All hail King Stalls. This the how, how much longer does your season go for? Ours is going to be over. Well, we actually have three weekends in May, but we work weekends. I am taking one off for the pond skim, which is where everybody dresses in fun costumes and goes down the hill and tries to skim across this pond that they set up. I, and we've never gone to it. We don't usually go up on weekends. But I'm taking a day off, and I'm taking my nephew and my sister and the whole, their whole fam on up. Oh, dang it. Almost, almost. <laughs> Ryan.
Wrong wax. No, he took a hard fall, and good thing he had his helmet. I had one of those this year. Sad had one. Oh. Guys, are going to try to film TJ through the pond skim. I'm a little bit nervous. We just got to go fast. No, so you go in the middle, so I'll go to the right of you. Yeah, I'm going to go right in the middle there where it's like the longest gap and it also looks like the smoothest entrance. it again I missed it because we started so late oh yeah we have one that's open all year you got it All these little kids, you have to be 18 to do it. I think this is maybe a whistler. Thank God for morphine. That is so true. Oh, gosh. Never tried it. I've been kind of considering it. But I, so I work with two people who are really good. And let's do a heart for stalls. Uh, uh, morphine? I was talking about um, the pond skim. I work with a couple of guys who are really good at snowboarding and one of them said when he tried it and the first time he's, he's like just be ready to eat shit he's like it's so much different than actual snowboarding and it's kind of the sort of thing you got to try before you get it right he's like but if you do it you lean all the way back on your back foot hard bingo. that's what the, uh, both of those people we saw go across did. bingo you just sink into that back foot yeah, exactly. Vista said he thought about trying it, but didn't want to be wet all day after. That is so true. Yeah, I think I'm good. You would have to bring a change of clothes. Well, that I mean, you'd be in a costume. Yeah, I know you're. I know you're good. Uh, he doesn't like to make a spectacle of himself. He's actually. I actually would just do it the first time and blow everybody out of the water. The streaming thing. I'd win. Been, has been really good for Sad. He's oh, we're, oh, there we go. He's been really getting out of his uh, comfort zone. Like I never thought he would ever sing to you people are, and the way he dances. And you guys are so good for that me. time. He was humping the rock that time. I just he, yeah. He you really just so come out of his shell just for you guys. You guys are so come on, Sad. Let's see a few more of these real quick. Yeah, I love it. Oh. Uh, yeah. So. I. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh, double turn. It put him onto his toe edge, or his his front end, coming up to that second one. I can't breathe. It would be way too that. hard the way it goes down like that. Oh! Oh! No. Uh-uh. Why the double? Oh, thanks, LT. Oh. Thanks for being part of it. We, man. Yeah, Indeed. we feel really lucky, really blessed, really supported and loved. And we really love all of you guys. Yeah. A whole it's bunch. Like, like she said, it's been good for me. Yeah, it's been good for both of us. It's been good for our relationship. It's been good for getting us out doing more things. And yeah, it's and just been, it has been an 
absolute positive experience. Oh, this poor guy. Happy, not happy. Happy, not happy. It would be bad enough hitting the water like that, but hitting the middle thing. Oh. Why is there a double pond? That ain't, that's, I guess it's Red Bull. It's got to be extreme. It's got to be extreme. At faster speeds, yeah, that's when it is easier to have it happen, which is unfortunate. Let's go. I've been, this year for the first time, I've been feeling that feeling of being flat on my board, not having any edge on the ground at all, and it, it's so weird because you have no control and it just goes with the contours, you know? And I haven't done it for long periods of time yet. Just, I'm just getting, you know, little snippets of it, but it feels so weird and amazing and is so much fun. Uh, We're watching it again. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, quite the journey. And oh man, I'm looking so much for so very forward. We call that a scorpion when the when the board comes up over your back and hits you in the back Ugh. of the head. To the rest of the journey. That I'm so excited Sorry. to do backpacking this. We're gonna we're gonna be doing it the we're first week it. after snowboarding. I want to go backpacking. We're gonna do it as yeah. long as there's not rain. That sounds good to me. I look forward to it. We can go in the rain. Okay. LT's only seen snow I'll once sleep. in real life. I'll yeah, sleep. we could go in the rain. Okay. We could just bring our rain fly. I'll just be wet. I don't care. It, but if it's going to get cold and rain, that might not be... We'd have to bring a change of clothes. We'll get We'd have to have like 40 pound packs. We'll get snuggly. Yeah, we like we'll just that. just get snuggly. Okay, we won't watch that anymore. That coupler thing we got is probably too small for our for those mats, is it? Probably. I don't know. Oh, somebody told you that, huh? So, the thing that clicked in my head the biggest this year was never have your downhill edge down. So if your toes are downhill, they gotta be up. If your heels are downhill, they gotta be up. If you keep, that, that was the rule that really clicked in my mind. As soon as you don't do that, that's, that's when you get in the possibility. And that's for the whole board. So if you're doing this and you just accidentally put some weight on this back edge, you can put that foot down. But as long as you keep your downhill edge off the ground, you're good. You can go flat and you can do everything, but that rule will keep you fairly, fairly safe. Or it kept me fairly safe this year. That, that, that knowledge in my brain yeah, LT, we're doing a 24-hour stream when we get to 1,000 subs. Yeah. But it is also, I mean, that's not always true because if you're on an edge like this and you don't want to be riding your toe edge the whole time, you got to do quick. Oh, no, you can, I mean, you, you can carve into the other edge. You can go from having... But that's carving, not... You can, yeah. you got, I mean... Look who it is, it's Vlad. Vlad Ryan. Double flip offs to you too, Vlad. Good, great to see you. Always. It is Vlad Riot. Vlad Riot. Chloe's Vlad being Riot. extra sweet and special right now. Man, the Vlad Riot button was badass. I missed that one. Mm -hmm. She needs lots of kisses sometimes. You Speaking know? of buttons, though. She needs all the kisses. <laughs> got a belly full of steak right now. Oh lordy. I'm sorry Greasy. I didn't mean it. I, I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Shout but, out Greasy. Shout out. She swallowed oh, a lordy. bunch of bitches steak whole. 
I can hear it being a little bit squitchy in there. Squitchy belly. Beep, beep, beep. Gosh. Uh, my grease is showing. His grease is It was out. half showing. I got. I, I feel. I almost. I. I'm having a hard time not debuting the mod of the year button, but the mod of the year hasn't been in. So I. I, I think you can. I think you still should. You don't sh have to do it just. Cause he's our mod of the year, whether he's here or not. Can we shout out Debeez big time for being the mod of the year, winning the points, winning the game, winning the mod of the year? But it doesn't make sense. Now I get why we're gonna do it. He's gotta be here. He's cool off the carpet and it's not as cool as I am. Oh, canceled. Get out of here. Stop, stop, cut, ah. cut, cut. Hey, Greasy Jr. <laughs> it almost got Flopping out. Flopping Greasy Jr. See, Greasy accepts. Yeah, just substitute Greasy Perfect. for where it said Debeach. Just pretend. Or you can AI it out. No, he's just standing in he, he can still be debeige i like it we all should be a little debeige just be a little debeige in your daily life be a little stalls be a little greasy be a little lt take a little bit of everything and make the best of and it all and yeah woo. yeah it's a little with the lil you got a lot a lot of a lot of recipes that are bound for success successipes if you will successipes Coin that. <laughs> yeah. We're making success appeas around here. <laughs> Don't spit. He almost did. Almost. That was close. We got success appeas coming out our bungholes and our out of our keywords. And out of our pee holes. <laughs> our like pee asparagus holes pee. Will be later. Bungholes. Bung holes. And pee holes. Yeah, new word. Not just a new word. Unlocked. A super <laughs> word. Super word unlocked. We need a we need an animation for that. Team, yeah. Work on that. Chloe? We need an animation for when someone unlocks a super word. Greasy. It's real. The starvation from snowboarding. It is I mean, after our nephew always gets hungry after four, three, four runs. I was gonna say one or two it hours. Used, yeah, yeah. We get there at nine, and by ten thirty, we're in the car eating sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're lucky if we make it to eleven thirty. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. But yeah, we always I'm bring always food. I'm always hungry for it. We used to just kind of starve, and we called the way home starvation trail. Or um, we would break down and buy really expensive, not that great of food. The or food good, at the mountain is it's fine. Yeah, it, I won't disparage its quality every time. But it's all just like you know frozen, which is understandable because you got to get it up to the mountain and whatnot. Uh, but it's not worth it. But we are going to get uh, Cascade fries and Nacho Mountain on your weekend. One? No, I think we could do it. Yeah. On the next nice day. Yeah, next nice day. That's going to be just a us three thing. I mean, I feel like we should just bring a picnic when we go up with the fam. Got it. Yeah, exactly. Nacho Mountain. Easy. That's what we're always, that's like my, my go-to. Yeah, I don't know why. I It was miserable. It was starvation trail on the way home so bad. LT, thanks so much for hanging out. Uh, participating in chat we're not far too. behind you yes love you too peace out with LT we are uh, close behind we gotta get up early in the morning for snowboarding we're gonna, gonna try to great. get first chair as always yeah it's and by nice first to go chair, early we mean like 12th early's always better maybe 20th oh yeah I mean I really guess, wants to stay I guess a lot of wait. people take it literally to get first chair, but I feel like it's more of a Figurative. get there right when they open. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're lucky parking is close. 
parking is real close. You can basically, if you get in the right spot, you can almost ride. I mean, you could ride to the truck, but she wants to go over to you, honey. Come on over. But you're not supposed to ride in the parking lot. Oh. Mm. Snowboarding will do it. I mean, it burns the calories. Snowboarding in the winter yeah. and disc golfing and backpacking in the backpacking summer. Backpacking is what really, really um, does it. I mean, I was I was pretty much my thinnest at dis at my biggest disc golfing addiction too. I would say. Yeah, that's when we were both. We would Super skinny. Yeah, we didn't eat much. We didn't <laughs> eat much back then. We were poor. We, we uh, but <laughs> we did. We I mean, we spent money on drugs and, and, and stuff <laughs> and festival tickets. But you know, food that was a luxury. <laughs> we would take tortillas and lunch meat and cream cheese and roll it up. But now, Ooh, I mean, yeah. now we just can't, uh, we don't like to eat the food that they, they really don't have healthy options, really. Mm. And it's just so nice to eat healthy foods. That's more of it, packing stuff rather than uh, getting stuff there. But it's going to make it that much more special. And we were telling that to our nephew, too, because he's, he's talked about wanting to get stuff a few times. But last time he got chicken strips and they were not good. He didn't even eat them all, you know. We know where to get those good deli chicken strips. Yeah, you wait. You bring your own healthy, delicious food and then wait till after to get something real good. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. Wait, what is Vista thinking about trying? Backpacking. Oh, or disc golfing. Maybe both. I bet disc golfing. I bet backpacking. Oh. I think you already disc golf. Oh, okay. He's going to try backpacking. That's my guess. Yeah, Greasy. Oh. They have the best hot chocolate. They, 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 it's Hershey's hot chocolate and their hot chocolate machines. They just have the ones that you press the button and rrr, but it's it, set to uh, just pour out the chocolate stuff. Perfect. It's so good. Perfect hot chocolates that are on the addictive side. What are you doing? You trying to get your, do you want your dental treat? Is that what you're doing or do you want to go outside for real, for real? Oh, backpacking. Oh, that'll be awesome, Vista. I, man, I love it so much. I am dreaming about getting back on the trail. Just, there's just something so good oh. about just putting one foot in front of She's the so other bad. for miles and miles and just being out in the beauty of nature. And we have so many beautiful places here. It, it's just stunning. You just feel more alive and you're so, and you get so tired and and then one of the best parts is coming back after that and get just really appreciating all of those just teeny luxuries that you take for granted every day no mini marshmallows greasy uh whipped cream real whipped cream real good whipped cream real real good whipped cream gosh we might have to get one of those when we do our fries and nachos the Cascade fries have a cheese sauce and green onion and tomato and bacon. So good. I, I worked up there for a long time, for a few years, and I made mochas like every day, half of that delicious hot chocolate and half coffee. Greasy. So I think when I did, when I improved my oh, posture, yours is getting better. I'm getting slowly. Every time you remember to remind yourself to sit up straight, look at it as a victory, pat yourself on the back and know that the more times you do that, the closer you're going to be to having a habit of good posture. And it will take years a couple years uh, you know it took i did it when i was younger and it took me a couple years to have
good posture, but it's one day you just do it and just don't get discouraged if you haven't done it, you know, even if you haven't reminded yourself in a few days and then you remember, just make sure it's a really positive thing in your mind that you remembered and you're gonna keep remembering. And yeah, just look at each one as a victory. That's my advice. I've been doing this thing. Oh, I get in a door jam and I just lean forward a little bit like this way with the door jam on my arms and hold it for a little bit. I do that every day for a while. Oh, wow. It's so funny because we did, there's this thing where you take the hiking pole and put it back behind you and, or, or, you know, you start it down here, right? And pull it up. Was that it? I don't remember. Don't like it. And Sad could just like barely do it because <laughs> he slunched all, sl slunched? <laughs> Slouched all the time. But for me, it was just like, whoop. You know. I come out of the toilet and I'm like, I TP for my bung hole between the door <laughs> jams. You get really pressed out. I bet that does Just feel good if you're slouching step, to... You step through the doorway a little bit and it pulls everything back. Yeah, that would really help to stretch it out and get you to feel in the posture. But yeah, it's all about being... Just finding those moments of awareness about it. I've been trying to do that with saying like, which is so ingrained. And there are certain situations where I allow it when I'm, because at first I was thinking no more, no more. But if you're comparing something, this is like that. There were a couple circumstances where I decided it's okay to say it, but I catch myself like, do you hear that? I catch myself slipping a lot and lately I've, I thought I have not, I've slipped right back into it and I haven't thought about it in a while. It's probably been a couple months since I've even checked myself with it. You better check yourself before you. But I did for the first time, remember? Like Do you remember when I did that? Yeah. I said, oh, it was when we were watching ourselves, our video. But yeah, I'm all about the constant improvement and doing what is good for you. Yeah, we're all about that. You want to call it a night? Yeah, I think so. We're off to uh, Kill Tony Land. We are going to go snowboarding, get some footage. We're getting back on the horse. This is my first time back since my big fall. We're excited. We're not nervous at all. We don't have any fear. Bad posture while asleep? That's really interesting. You. You sleep on your side then and kind of scrunch? Oh, I do that too, probably. I try to sleep on my back sometimes to help my posture. I feel like it does, if you can. I've never even considered bad posture while sleeping. I saw an FBI guy on Big Brother say that they sleep like this, so that if anything happens, their, their hands are right there. And I was like, ooh, I want to be able to do that. That's good to have a defensive sleep mechanism if you ever need to. If you're ever in a situation where you need to defensively sleep. It seems to me as if yeah. it's not... It's kind of like a vampire thing. <laughs> it's not as important while you sleep. Am I wrong? Because you don't have the... You're not standing with all of the weight pulling down on you? But it would help to correct it if you slept on your back, yeah. probably. Or even on your side, but not with bad posture. But that's hard. Or do you like on your side with your head forward? I mean, I think I do that too. I, d I do. I that think that's really a normal way to sleep. The fetal curl. And I don't think it's when you're in bed. Don't let the sheet curl. Yeah, you gotta have those flat sheets. I've never even thought about that. Is that a thing? Bad posture while you sleep? But so. I used to be the biggest biatch when I woke up in the morning. I, I wouldn't even remember sometimes. It was the weirdest thing. I just hated waking up and I literally wasn't myself during the first 10 minutes after waking. And I told myself every night, Evidently, there's all kinds of wrong ways to sleep. You just need to sleep flat on your back. I like it. I do mostly. Um, 
Yeah, that makes sense. But I feel so comfy. So I told myself when when I was going to sleep, I told myself that I'm going to wake up feeling refreshed and aware. And that took me right about a year. Every night I told myself I'm going to wake up feeling good, refreshed, aware, like myself. I can't remember my whole mantra that I said. And now I do. And it, I just had to tell myself that I was going to do it. Every night before I went to bed, I repeated it, you know, 10 times or something. And then eventually it just worked. I mean, it just sunk in. You can play little mind games like that with yourself, and I really think they work. But I think the biggest issue people run into is they want it to work right now. And it's something that really takes time. And you have quit to at failure instead yeah. of just starting over. Yep, exactly. Looking at each, you know, like I was saying, each one is a success. If you lie on a small curl during the night, you can wake up with your back ruined to the point you need one to two days to get back to normal. It is always best to have those nice flat sheets. I buy it. I never thought it, but I do. I have good posture in my sleep, too. It, when I sleep on my side, I even yeah. hug something, but I'm pretty up straight. Sometimes I do. I'll have my head forward, but that's funny. I've never thought of that. Okay, goal for the week, sleep better in better posture positions. Maintain. Yeah, just better posture in general. Better posture in general. Um, Healthy bodies. Have fun. Have fun is a big one. She's got a squishy steak belly over <laughs> yeah. here. Oh, thank you so much for dinner, Jojo. You're that so was welcome, amazing. honey. Thanks for all your help and cleaning up. Uh, oh. Mm. Back mm. with your shoulders back. Yeah. I, do I have a wedge pillow, and it is amazing. I love it. She sleeps on a 33 degree angle. How much angle do you think it is? 27 degree angle. Not 45. Yeah, not 45. Yeah, 25, 30. Even it's 10 inches. Less than that. 10 yeah. inches in the back to maybe, the maybe, to Maybe, yeah, zero. maybe only 20 or something. It's not that much of a... Yeah. Or a cube pillow. The I really definitely recommend a wedge pillow. I could even... Uh, the one I got is made in California. And it's I've had it for so many years, and it's amazing. It's just real dense foam. Held up great. Yeah. I got one for my mom. She loves it. I bet they have different angles. Yeah, so that, well, these ones, it's I think it's 10 inch or 12 inch. Mm. So yeah, that is. Brentwood Home. Brentwood Homes. Home of the wedge pillow. And you can get cheaper ones, you know, but... Uh, this one's real, real nice. I don't know. I can't find. I can't like. I can't look at the details. I wonder. Brentwood Homes, home of the twelve-inch wedge. I've pillow. had it since 2017. Same wedge pillow. Satisfaction guaranteed, mm -hmm. or your money back. Brentwood Homes. Oh yeah, Costco has quality products. Oh, that's a good idea. Size Costco's does. Good idea. Does matter. Yeah, Especially 10 when inches it comes plenty. to <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 12 inches, come on, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. that's just scary. Hold You're putting that where? Behind your head. Yeah. Or under your feet, maybe. If you're weird like that, you might do that. <laughs> prop, sword fight. Prop your feet up you on could, it. You could <laughs> sword, sword fight. fight yeah, yourself. in your butt, in your own butt. <laughs> Give it the old. Why wouldn't you? Give it the old roundabout. She's just using me to get to you, I oh, think. Oh, what a stinky. Greasy, thanks so much for hanging out. Yeah. Glad. We Great love you, Greasy. seeing you. Thanks for yeah. hanging out. Vista, we're happy to hear that you're on to new adventures. Hope you join the backpacking community. If you have any questions, let us know. We don't have a whole lot of experience, but... I think we did a lot of research, We though. did a lot of research when we bought products. 
And, and just about, you know, backpacking in general. And if you ever want to backpack all the way up here, make please. sure and hit us up. Yeah, please come. It would be oh. awesome. We could go hiking, backpacking together. We're Eagle Creek is the goal this year. We're definitely oh. going to do that. Oh. Oh, volume up. Oh. Heck yeah, Stalls. Volume up. Stalls is in the house. We love you. We're sending your whole family all the love. Chloe's sitting on the lap. And she's saying, we love you. I can hear her. She she's said, screaming. Stalls, you are too late, damn it all, oh. in all caps. Oh, no. It He's, should be illegal to make yeah. unhealthy beds. And there are more, I'm sure, unhealthy ones than healthy ones. Hello, Stalls, says Vlad Riot. Stalls Blue says, I can't type, but I send you my fondest regards, everyone. Please... Parry with her on and enjoy the rest of the stream. As a Malayan, he's fully spreading love all I, over. I will be listening as I drive home to rest. He's squirting you all with moist love right now. Oh. Well, I don't know if he went that far. I don't know if he's squirting anybody. That's jo uh, Jojo. Jojo went too far, Stalls. I'm sorry. Sorry, Stalls. I know he is. He really is. Chloe says it's time to get on the couch. Oh lordy! Oh, we 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 made Greasy pull out the oh lordy twice tonight. Uh, we're out of control. Always on the side. I sleep. I'd back say back two and two. Eighty, even ninety percent on my back. What I do you th do you think? I sleep like this and like this and like that and like this that. This guy is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm living, the living the rapture nightly. <laughs> Sometimes he wakes up with his pants off. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Oh, with your shirt. Wait, what did you do? Was it your pants? He would take his pants. He would take his underwear off. I'd have my shirt on and my underwear off. You know, it's the underwear off. It was great. It was a good night. He did it a few times, yeah. <laughs> I'm a fantasy sleeper. I have I have sleepwalked. Yeah. He one time he sleepwalked out to the couch and laid down and went to sleep on the couch. Who knows uh, what he did in between, I guess. I slept walked on my senior trip in high school. I went to bed in my hotel room and woke up on the balcony of another hotel's about like hallway. I'm glad I didn't get a hit. <laughs> glad fall. Fall. Yeah, I'm a fantasy sleeper. JoJo talks in her sleep more than I do, though. I do. We were talking about it might be fun to keep a camera on me for the 24-hour stream. Because Sad's planning on staying awake the whole time. I, I was will thinking be maybe sleeping. I'll try like a bunch of legal drugs all night. And we can laundry. We could have like a... We could try to find a dark or a night vision camera that we can use to watch you. And I'll eat like kava and kratom and legal mushrooms. I can just sleep right back there on the couch. Get all tripped out. While you do that. I'm a good sleeper. I don't have any problems. We'll mic you up real close yeah, so we can Yeah, you can just mic me up and I'll sleep back there. Our couch is as comfortable as a bed, that's for sure. Uh, when you when you went to the couch, it's because you had a dream where the where I was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He put me in the dog house. Uh, I'm out of here. Yeah, Greasy, we're getting close. The whole legal drugs idea might not happen. I don't know, but I just had that idea. I could. That'd be pretty wild. I've been pretty sober for a long time. I might trip out. You want some mushrooms? Those are illegal drugs. Illegal. I could eat the legal. I could eat Amanita mascara. Uh, but that them. might make you pass out too. Then I'd just eat some kratom. I have a. F <laughs> <laughs> so he. Uh, and then I just eat some kava. Is slightly narcoleptic. What like even when he's not super tired, uh, when he's just tired, he'll pass out. He's. When we used to be gamers, he passed out at the controls 
More than once. Yeah, quite a few times. There's a, I, there's a guy on Instagram who my buddy gets mushrooms from. Maybe you can find out who it is and let him know. Yeah. I bet I can. Yeah, I... Ooh, you've resumed your build? Oh, heck yeah. Cool, Vlad. Um, we have played a couple times this year with our nephew and our niece. But we definitely don't... Oh, and you canceled your... Being so play. Okay. I canceled my PlayStation Plus for the first time and... I don't even know. Years, I don't probably. even know how many years. Even though I wasn't playing them, I was just giving them money. Like, uh -huh. yeah. And sometimes I'd download the free game. Sometimes I wouldn't. But I was like, I, I'm on a, I'm on a strict budgeting, um, kick. I'm really trying to cut back my expenditures. We're in the final year of our five-year plan for getting a home, for buying our own house. So. We and we've been kind of. We did really good the first year, first couple years of our five year plan. And then we started ba buying backpacking stuff. And but I think it was all for a good yeah. goal, you know, because well, that stuff it. now we have all that stuff. But we have been being more strict saving because it's just about go time. I'm a bit out of touch. I know about being out of touch for sure. I have Instagram and stuff, but I am rarely on it. Yeah, dog. Look at this little dog. She's a sleepy puppy. Yeah, she is. She's so cute. She's making. Oh yeah, that's puppy. cool. I'm glad you. I'm glad we can still play. That's pretty much the only thing we do play. I mean, we might. You might. You might see us hop on. Yeah. Jojo's been. Jojo's got the bug for some mining. I love <laughs> the mindless, just like setting rows of blocks or mining stuff. I it's love fun. It. It's weird. It's oddly fun. It's. It's. Uh, mm. Mwah. Meditative. I'm gonna put you on the couch. So you can get comfy. There you go. It is hard for her to get comfy on mm -hmm. laps. She's like, no, I don't want to. You get on the couch. Of course. We want to help you. Anytime, let right. us know. We then will. you won't be able to? We will be able to. We will. I think. If we only like the Why mindless not? stuff or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we can do that. We, <laughs> we do everything. No, we're about it. If some, I, That's what I like is if someone has a project and is like, hey, here's your, here's your thing. Do that's this. what, yeah, that's what we did with our, well, with our nephew, he's building a big dwarf village down in the cave and he had us breaking blocks. And then our with our niece, we all built our own houses. Was hmm. it was it our houses or dwellings sure. or something? Masturbatorium. Some, yes, we had our masturbatorium. Oh wait, no, not that, not that, no, no. Nice. Heck yeah, <laughs> Chloe. Yeah, it's so much work. Leave it. And Go there's there. always some more fun stuff you can do. But that's exciting. I'm mm. looking forward to seeing it again. And doing yeah. your vidya. Vidya. We love making vidyas. Yeah. It'd be fun to make a Minecraft vidya. Yeah. It'd be yeah. a lot of fun. We're going to call it a night. Greasy, Vlad, everybody, LT. Stalls Blues. Stalls Blues. Sorry we're out of here. Smuggy was tons first. Of love. Smug. Kathy H was here. Trisha was here. Figs was here. So many amazing, wonderful friends. Robot Andy was here. Hi Zed was, was here. here. Surf was here. 
Uh, Goldie Cobb was here. Goldie Cobb was here. Everyone was here. Who was here? So many people we love. Donald Glenn C. D. was w. here. P A A. Yeah. Big Can't time. ever forget about Glenn C. Uh, Bill Cody was here, I bet. Shout out Bill Cody and his peanut butter chocolate. Oh, uh, no. We're getting fed up, <laughs> Bill Cody. <laughs> I'm so hungry, <laughs> Bill Cody. <laughs> We love you guys so much. Always remember. Do something you love. With someone you love. Even if it's yourself. Cause go on a hike by yourself. Go, go it have, starts right here. Go have a frozen custard at the local frozen custard emporium. In order to love everyone, you must love yourself. It's the only way. Just got to do that. Bill Cody! We knew it! <laughs> Woo! Bill Cody! I want Bill those Cody's chocolate here. peanut butter oh, yeah. <laughs> We love you, Bill Cody. We love you guys so much. <gasps>